We're live. 5.30 on the dot. Not even 5.31 yet. I uh, had to restart the sim because there's an update to Flow Pro that I didn't realize there was uh, until I was flying around just now. So I shut it down, I opened Orbex, and I updated Flow Pro. And there's also an update for the DA42, which I wasn't expecting. I'm not sure what's in it, because I, I just saw it two minutes ago. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see what's in that. Maybe we won't. There are a few tail draggers in the marketplace today, and I found... Um, there's also, there's another one by Aerosox, Aerosox. They released that Technam P90 or something. I forget the model exactly, but it was like a little light Technam single engine. Uh, and they released another one, the P2010. So we're going to check that out. And then there are a few scenery. Uh, uh, the, the sim is still starting. Actually, is there an error? Oh, the game is already running. No wonder it, start, it didn't start. It thinks the game is, uh, was already running. Whoops. Um, yeah, and I grabbed a couple scenery things. There's the first was called, there's two actually called VFR objects by dream, dream scenery. So one was released for Los Angeles area and one was released for Miami, Key West, Fort Lauderdale. So it's some payware for something like what we get with, we love VFR. And then I also picked up USA Modern Cities Volume 1. I think a few streams ago, I, or a few weeks ago, I picked up Modern Cities Volume 3. So I picked up Volume 1 because it has LA and Miami in it for buildings. So I thought it'd be good to look at both those together. So we have VFR objects for LA and Miami, and then Modern City for LA and Miami as well. So we'll see if those, how those work together. Yeah, Spitfires. Yeah, if if I if I did tail draggers more, I would be in, into it. But I just pretty much look for like tricycle tricycle gear GA stuff. Uh, Darren says working title fix the SR22 Turbo uh, Turbo EIS page bug. Oh, nice. Okay, awesome. In the latest beta update, I was looking at that very briefly. I just closed it down before I started the stream, though. Maybe I should bring that up and see what all is in there. All right, yeah, I'm going to bring up those release notes while the sim's loading. Uh, are the modern simies, uh, cities photogrammetry just non-photogrammetry? I don't know. I know it's at least all the buildings or like a lot of the buildings in the bigger city areas like downtown and maybe, I don't know about Long Beach. I think the screenshot shows downtown. Yeah, let's see, I'm looking through the Sim Update 15 release notes right now. Yeah, G3, So because they did a beta update. How long ago was this? Oh, it says 14 hours ago, but I don't think it was published until just now. That's probably when they drafted it. All right, bug fixes with a 4.30 and 5.30. G3X touch bug fixes for VNAV. External navigators. Okay. Airbus A320 Neo V2. That's the any build ones, right? A bunch of fixes for that. 7, 8, and 7, 4 fixes with the LNAV. And then World Hub. Oh, World Hub submissions, which were included in the previous Sim Update 15 release test build have been removed will now be released alongside the next nav data update in april so they delayed sim update 15 and now it's not going to include the world hub submissions i guess that seems to be the case all right the sim is still starting i'm staring at the dune the Dune screen, as usual. Can we do a stole challenge? I haven't thought about doing anything like that. 
Uh, if there's enough interest, I'm down. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how we measure it. We need like a preset camera position or something and measuring. That would be kind of fun. Uh, what's up, Aaron? Aaron says I got back to into flights in 2020 recently. A beginner, been listening to your past live streams while at work. Oh, nice. Thanks, dude. And welcome back to Flight Sim. Dream scenery's come up. Uh, whoever was just doing night for airports. Yeah, Dream Scenery did these two new VFR objects add-ons that I grabbed. Hey, Yuari, what's up? Working title said they forgot to mention a fix in the change log. Uh, oh, they they bumped the version one three eight one three nine. Is that is that in the beta then? It must be in the beta. Stole, yeah, yeah. That is it. Short takeoff and landing. Um, someday this uh, someday this sim will start. Probably today. Might be tomorrow in another part of the world by the time it happens though. Got 20, 24 minutes until the top of the hour. Yeah, so I'm gonna fly around the P2010. There's so many technims with similar names now. So we have the P2006 turbo, which we checked out. Then we have the P2016, which is the twin, or sorry, the 2006 and the, and the 2016 are both twins. And now we have the 2010, which despite its name is not a twin, this one. Yeah, so, and this was by Aerozox. I think it's spelled like that. Um, let me go, let me go to the actual marketplace to do this proper. Wait, did this just get added? Um, all right, so we got some liveries. British Isles Mesh. Oh, by Orbex. $9? What? That seems really cheap, doesn't it? Wait, if I look at Orbex Mesh, weren't they more expensive than this in the past? Creative Mesh. I feel like the Orbex ones... Okay, $13.49 for South American Mesh. And I have the Alaska one. I think a lot of us probably have the Alaska Mesh. That seems cheaper than normal. That's cool. British Isles. Maybe it's just a smaller area. So British Isles mesh might be a good idea to, and yeah, maybe we could do that. Let's see. Saturday's Saturday's the end of the Appalachian Trail, day five of five. Maybe maybe for some future group flights, we should focus around one of these mesh add-ons, just for for people that I don't know. Eh, as soon as I said it, it sounded like a bad idea. When it was in my head, it sounded good, but. Unless you fly in these areas a ton, like, like who's going to buy it just to fly around in the stream for like a day? Nobody, just me. So maybe not, maybe not that. Uh, we do have an American airport here, it looks like. KCLM Fairchild. I didn't get this yet, but we got the William Fairchild International Airport. Port Angeles, Washington. South America's gorgeous place to fly. Yeah, something like that. Something like South America mesh. Um, it, it would be cool to fly in a, a different area and take advantage of like the best we can get as far as terrain. And it's been a while since I've flown in Alaska too, but I've had that Alaska mesh a long time. Yeah, I'm, I'm generally a fan of anything that's going to give us like a lot, like any global or yeah, countrywide scenery updates or like yeah, all that kind of stuff that just affects more space in the world. Love all that stuff. Yeah, South America using that mesh, using the South America Orbex mesh. Sounds like a good idea. Really maximize how good things look. Ah, FedEx, nice. Okay, so we got the William Fairchild. Was it regional? Wait a minute. Uh, this isn't new anymore, is it? No, I think I'm off of the new. Let's do new releases again. See all. What exactly is mesh? I, I'm i pretty sure it's basically like the polygons that form the terrain. It's like a wrap. 
It's like when they put those wraps on cars so you don't know what they are. It's like that, but it looks good. It's basically better better terrain. More detailed terrain. Is this, an is this another mesh? Oh, there's just an airport. Okay. Okay, yeah, then there's a couple tail draggers. Maybe, I don't know that we'll run out of time today or reach our limit. Maybe I'll grab another one of these. Um, Heaven Designs and Giba, and then Flyboy Sim. This one looks more interesting to me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's banana yellow, the best color besides black. The Coyote 2. Stole characteristics. The Rans S6S. Single engine two seat high wing aircraft by Rands Incorporated. Rotax engine, 100 horsepower. Three variants. Trike, Bush, Trike. Yes. Oh, this has a trike. Maybe I do. Maybe I do want to fly this plane. It lost me at tail dragger from the image, but then it pulled me back in again when it said the word trike. Those are some massive tires. Yeah, nice. Wonder what else they have made. What Flyboy Sim? All right, this is their first product in the marketplace. And I think Aero Socks, Zach's Socks. I think it's like a German last name. Uh, yeah, we got this one probably a month or two ago. The P ninety two Echo hundred or horsepower, and flew this around. And I liked this one. Four point two seems pretty fair. Thirty six ratings. That's nice. Forget my feedback. Could we? I think we could see the co-pilot, so I said it was four stars instantly. Um, and in this new one, you can also see the co the co-pilot. So yeah, this was the P92 twin seat. So this one just a two-seater. Technam, Technam, Technam. Cap 140 autopilot. What was the rest of the stack in this? Probably a 430 or 530. Need to see the inside. Can't see it there. Guinea pig, yeah. Let's get meshy. Oh, oh, it had the it had the 750 in it, or the uh, the 8, 850. 750? Oh my god, GTN 750. Yes. Uh, and then here's the new one. This is their second product in the marketplace, the 2010. So not to be confused with the other twin technums we've been using, the 2006 and the 2016. This one has wait, is it six and 16? Or 6 and 18? No, it's 2012. Sorry, 2012. The 2006 and the 2012 are both twins, but the 2010 is apparently a single engine. Ultralight and 180 horsepower engine. Your passport to pure aviation thrills. And what do the stats say? Cruise 250 kilometers per hour, about a thousand mile range, 12,000. Yeah, just oxygen altitudes. And a G1000. Heck yeah. Oh, this is cool. It's got two G5s. These are basically Garmin G5s. Actually, I'm not sure of the one that shows the altimeter and the airspeeds a G5 or not. I know there's a G5 for attitude indicator and another there's a G5 for an HSI, I think. But maybe there maybe there's a configuration where you can get the get the altitude. It just has a standalone attitude indicator and then the rest is on here. It's kind of neat. Oh, what's up, Soul? Did you get a hail? Did I get hail when storm came through? I didn't notice any. But I barely go outside, so that might be the that might be the issue. But no. No. I didn't notice it. I didn't like hear anything that sounded like there was hail dropping. Alright, so yeah, we'll fly this one first. And maybe I'll check out that other one that has the tail dragger variant. Um, let's get get through the rest of the list here though. And then the MX180. I wonder if this has a tail dragger variant as well. Or it has a has a trike variant. Four seater. Six 
Single engine, five seat light aircraft by Amer American. I haven't heard of Mall Air before, oh, uh, but I haven't heard of most things. The company's previous, uh, evolved from the previous models. Another stole. So both of these are both stole friendly. With a 430 in there. This is kind of an interesting panel. Almost reminds me, like these type of gauges here for all the pressures and temps and the fuel reminds me of like, um, like Piper, like the old arrows and stuff. And yeah, it looks like this is just tail dragger. Tail dragger, no, no trike. So if I do pick up another one, I'll probably grab this one, especially because this is their first their first plane. All right, shorts livery pack, two livery packs. I always wait for those to go on sale until they're like $2 or something. Oh, and then two Spitfires, flight replicas, Mark V standard and Mark V tropical. I don't know anything about the uh, like Warbirds, so. Okay, and then yeah, here's what I bought for today. Oh, what the? Oh, FS Academy Zero to Hero Bundle, 69, nice, 99. I assume this is just a huge bundle of all of the FS Academy stuff. And I haven't ever used the FS Academy stuff. Uh, I guess the ratings are mediocre. Some of them are really good, 4.5 and 4.3. But yeah, it's a five pack of their training. IFR, VFR, Commander, Jetliner, Navigator. That's cool. I wish, I wish like whenever I download stuff like this, like the bush trips we downloaded that one time, I feel bad, almost bad for the people that develop them because I think there's a problem. There are probably tons of limitations in what they can do when they make these kind of things. And uh, I just don't like a giant floating window with text in it like the bush trips are. Um, anyway, here's what I got for today. So I bought the 2010... We got that one. It was $19.99 US, $20 US. Then I got both of these VS VFR objects. So these are new today by Dream Scenery. There's one for Los Angeles, which says the greater Los Angeles area. So it's not just like uh, the city of LA or like along the coast. I guess it, it says 8,000 objects. So we'll see. I flew around a little bit and saw a bunch of like industrial things. So it could be pretty cool. And I have removed... The VFR, we love VFR um, add-on from flightsim.to, that is off. So when we see this, we're just gonna see this add-on in Los Angeles and then I'll go over to Miami and fly around. And also I added on the Modern Cities, which is by Samsine 3D. These have really, really good reviews. They're $20 each, but they have four cities in each of them. So I think, uh, wait, oh, did this one not get installed? Oh, I better install this. 10 gigabytes. Uh-oh. Right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So this one has Miami, LA, Boston, and Philly. So this is kind of cool. I mean, you're paying $5 for... Um, oh, it is Photogrammer. Oh, it says we bring out the best of the Microsoft Flight Simulator in built... I think that they mean the built-in photogrammetry tree around the city area. And by, fi oh, by fixing textures, structures, bridges, shores, and added in many buildings and features. So it looks like they're improving the photogrammetry. Yeah, it says the main objective is to show the photogrammetry at its best, which the stock photogrammetry is usually pretty bad for the buildings at least. Yeah, so you get Boston. So you get four cities. It says over... <laughs> Over 60 handcrafted building models in each city. Replace default broken bridges with handcrafted bridges. Night effects. Uh, oh, helipads on many rooftops. Can be used with photogrammetry turned off. Oh, and they added a Boston Harbor seaplane base. Okay. I'm just uh, I'm just going to keep talking and stalling while this installs. Um, wait, I thought it said 10 gigabytes. Now it says 1 gigabyte. I'm not sure which one it is. What's up, Raccoon? Oh, Zoldrin says the Airbus FS Academy was pretty good. And, oh, you preferred the oh, FSX IFR lessons. Did I? I never played FSX. Are there built in lessons? Modern cities on my wish list. Yeah, it's, we'll see. We'll see LA and Philly. 
or sorry, uh, LA and Miami today. And then, yeah, I, I forget. I think we saw, I had volume three. I got this one a while back. Did, uh, oh yeah, we looked at San Diego, but it also had Dallas, Austin, and Houston. And we saw San Diego on that stream. It's probably like more than a month ago. Yeah, I mean, they, they look pretty nice to me. So we're going to see the combination of Modern Cities, Volume 1 in LA and Miami, and the uh, and the new v, the VFR objects. And then the Miami VFR objects said 7,600 objects. Both the VFR ones were eight, $8. Miami says Key West, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami. So we're just waiting for this to install. I'm going to risk it not restart the sim again after after getting this one installed. See how it goes. Yeah, here's the Miami one. $8. Xbox and PC. Wait, I didn't download this either? What, what happened when I was sitting there downloading everything? I'm so confused. Oh, it didn't finish it. Oh, okay. I must I must have restarted while it was still downloading everything. So there's only 600 megabytes left on this one. Sorry, but we will wait. All hail Santa Cruz. What's up, Josh? Uh, Soul says Austin, oddly enough, doesn't show unless you type it in. Yeah, I think I restarted during the download. Um, here's the Miami stuff, some of the screenshots. VFR objects. Yeah, these look really good too. Like, We Love VFR is cool because it'll add like these smokestack towers, like industrial towers that let off steam and it has like the actual effects. I don't know that these have the actual effects. I guess we'll see. But I did fly around. Um, I flew from Santa Monica towards Long Beach and along the water just briefly before the stream. And uh, there were a bunch of these industrial looking buildings, like pretty highly detailed ones. So it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and they also include boats too. There were a ton of, of boats outside, like in the, the port of Long Beach. Soul says, dad joke when I was a bank manager. A woman wanted me to check her balance, so I pushed her. <laughs> What's up, Jack? Had to go with a high performance group, H135. Yeah, what is what was the original high performance performance group helicopter? Like way before there were helicopters in Microsoft Flight Sim. I remember flying that. That must have been like before the end of 2022, I think, is when helicopters came out. What's up, Robert? Is there a way to do the assisted checklist? without the camera automatically moving around. Uh, I don't, I think the evaluate, all right, this one's downloading. The evaluation mode always moves the camera. I'm not sure if you can prevent that. So you can either use the auto complete button, which will do as many of the checklist items like rapid fire, or you can do, um, or you can do the evaluation mode, which yeah, moves the camera. I'm not sure that there's a way. If, if there is, I don't know of it. Sorry. More screenshots while it's installing. I mean, this stuff looks... I mean, like, if you look at the base of it, if you stare at it for a long time, it looks, like, simple. But at first glance, like, these are, these are good enough quality objects. It doesn't have like the highest fidelity, like the base of this, uh, is this like a, is this like a radar? I don't I don't know what these are actually. Is it a telescope maybe? Um, the base of these, like you can see they're very simple, like one color almost, but without texture, but like whatever, you're going to, you'll be flying by them. Those of, uh, those of you who drive the juice goose around all day, maybe you'll notice the detail. And golf balls. Yeah, that's it. Uh, real world weather between Catalina and the coast is nothing but smog. It looks that way uh, out my window right now. Maybe not smogged, but definitely a lot of clouds. Like it's borderline overcast. I think it might 
I think this is considered overcast, maybe broken. Smog or fog. It's probably, I don't, I don't know when the smog is the most, but usually toward the end of the week, like Thursday, Friday is the worst traffic day, so. Cool, we got a rail yard here. Okay, this looks like it got installed. All right, let me go check the content manager now. Have I hit a thousand hours yet? I'll look at the flight sim forum or uh, subreddit. People will be hitting like 3000 hours. I feel very inadequate sub 1000 hours. How many flights do I have though? Logbook. 2,407 flights. So it doesn't necessarily mean that I landed though, right? Wait, there's no way I only have 130. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> there's no way I have 131 landings. Okay. I got like 1100 takeoffs and almost as many landings. Looks like I'm like 150 short on day. And look at that nighttime. I only missed five landings. Uh, but let me go content manager and just make sure there's nothing outstanding here. I can't sort beat these by date purchase, I don't think. Okay, I think we have everything. Hopefully it doesn't break. All right, let's go out of, I'm going to go to Santa Monica again. I don't know exactly where these objects are, so I'm just going to fly around on autopilot for a while. Wait, what the heck? Venice Beach? Wait, what? Why is there? What is this? What? Oh, you can take off from Venice Beach? What it? That does. Hold on. Let me check the. Did they add a Venice Beach beach takeoff strip as part of that? <laughs> this is uh, this is where my emergencies happen around there, or like Malibu. Is that legal? It is now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was that called? VFR objects. Los Angeles. Yeah, I didn't look at all the details here. Maybe they added. How did I get that? Do you guys have that? It's an add on. Oh, that's right. It was a separate add on for Venice Beach. Here it is. Venice Beach Park. I got this forever ago. Any builds 4.7 out of 5. I thought this was just. I thought it was just visuals. Oh yeah, and um, discover small details like animated palm trees, lifeguard towers, tennis courts, and the fictional runway spawning point, KLVB. All right, well, I guess I have to take off there. You guys could take off in Santa Monica and, uh, and we can meet up, but I guess I have to take off here. The runway is a thousand feet of sand. I'm sure uh, we're gonna start at parking. I forgot I got this add-on. All right, so let's look at liveries. We got six liveries. We got the standard. We got red. Oh, this one's uh, this one has like green on the side. This is like Italian flag style. Blue, another underbelly red, another blue. This one's like a little more purple maybe. And, and then a nice gray. I like the gray. All right, we'll go gray. Fill it up. Actually, I probably shouldn't fill it up taking off the beach. All right, Venice Beach, and I'll, we'll go to parking. There we go. Pull it back till the morning. All right, let's see how this goes. Venice Beach stole. Yep. You got it. Need to reinstall it. The Ferris wheel moves. Yeah, I think I grabbed it because I was like, you know, anything in LA, I'll pretty much just pay for it. So, uh, yeah, I don't I don't remember looking at the details. We can do that first. I guess I'll, I'll have to update the uh, the video notes. <laughs> what we What we looked at. I don't know if you guys think this is gross, but I have my coffee from about 930 this morning that's in a tumbler and it's still cold and I'm still going to sip on it. It's not it's not gone. It's just right here, though, so and it's coffee still technically. I 
Here, we'll see how these load times look. Where can you listen to the music stream? Oh, I wonder if I can share it. It's um, it's this service called Epidemic Sounds. I wonder if I can, maybe I can make a playlist. What the? <laughs> we got the ground traffic. I might be able to share it, but all of these are from Epidemic Sound, so it's like a it's a royalty free, like copyright free music service for like streaming and videos and content creators. So you can um you can use it without fear of being demonetized and stuff like that. All right, here are the March bug fixes, I guess. This is the first time I've ever seen a release notes for Flow. But Flow Pro got a um got an update today. So a bunch of fixes, improved load delay. Okay, remove it. All right, just a couple bug fixes. Dude, is it is it mimicking the sand being an uneven sur? Oh, <laughs> I guess I I picked the perfect parking spot. That's wonderful. <laughs> so this will be fine. I guess we should start by looking at the outside of this thing. So we got tie downs, pedo tube cover. Uh, where's the pedo tube cover actually? We don't have a pedo tube cover. Maybe it's off. There is a, t a little EFB in this. So let me check it out. Make sure all the statics are turned on right down here. Oh yes, this has smoke as well. All right, so we got wheel fairings. Always have to turn those on and a GPU. Okay, there we go. So we do have a uh, pedo tube covers. We got chalks. We got tie downs. The one in the back is kind of floating just because of how we are right now. So is this one just because we're on this amazing incline? All right, and then let's try the wheel fairings to see how good those look. They look good. Spoiler alert. I guess for the beach, maybe we get rid of the get rid of the fairings, but. And then there is smoke. Looks like... Okay, it's off until we get the engine going, probably. This is great. Something else for people to turn smoke on. That uh, landing light looks kind of kind of cool. Uh, these options, I think we saw these in the other Aerosox plane. So we have visible co-pilot, which is awesome, whether you have a human or a dog or a cat in there. Those Bose headphones do not look like they're in the best shape. And then we have show baggage and then gauge glasses is like the glass over the gauges. So any six pack gauges, I guess if you don't want the like film look over it, you can turn that off. So it's just easier to see. Um, and then you can show, show or hide co-pilot, show or hide passengers and baggage. So I assume we'll just need to, our favorite part, judging the uh, included avatars. Oops, let's go to fuel and balance and add in some passengers. Beanie dude, bearded beanie guy. And the midriff shirt woman. And then let's add some baggage in there. All right, we're already over our max takeoff weight. See the kind of variety we got back here. Got a little backpack and a briefcase. Let's add more. Okay, looks like it just adds, just adds those two. Looks like there's a little first aid kit under there. Looks like they're having a great time. Yep, always, always looking up into the air. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. That's like me in a small plane, just looking up, trying to think about anything else, being scared. Actually, I'm more like looking down at my phone at a... Like at four flight or something. 
Um, okay, tie down. So we did. We looked at those. We'll take the chalks, pedo cover, and then let's see what the GPU looks like. A little floating GPU. Nice. I wonder if the GPU is functional or not. I don't think it actually is. It's just visual, yeah, because nothing here is turning on when we attach the GPU like we'd like, normally expect. All right, GPU is off. We'll leave the smoke on for a, a, an excellent beach takeoff. And before we get going, let's go look at the... Uh, we'll go look at Venice since apparently I'd never checked this out. The heck? Oh, these like barricades have like art on them. The prettiest barricades you've ever seen. Oh, I wish there were a ton of people here. Normally, it's just shoulder to shoulder here. You just can't walk through here. I don't know if the birds are part of this. They they probably are, but I also have the bird add-ons. So, oh, <laughs> those cars. I wonder if those cars are part of the scenery or if they're, if they're like ground traffic for the quote-unquote airport we're at. All right, we got the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel, of course. I believe I, I've been here before. Okay, we got some little kiosks here. Selling things. These, <laughs> this, this is probably from not restarting. I mean, the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster look fine, though. It's really cool that it's animated. Smoke's oh, smoke is mandatory in Santa Monica. You'll fit right in. Uh, maybe it'll fix the lines on nameplates when you scale above a hundred percent. Uh, how fast is the plane? I don't know yet. Uh, let's just see what the... What? Uh. Oh! <laughs> okay. I wonder if the wind's just pushing us around. Um, I can't see I can't see just yet. It's 180 horsepower. I don't know. Probably like 140 knots. Something like that. What? All right. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that's happened before. When you use the drone camera and you're not like on even ground, that can happen. Uh, there is a code. Yeah. Uh, what is the code? Uh, Santa Monica's closest. This will only show. LVB will only show there if you downloaded the Venice Beach add-on. All right, we should get this thing started up. All right, like we like I do with all the planes, we check. Oh yeah, first of all, uh, me, I was flying the Phoenix, so I got to change my controls back again. Um, circuit breakers are look functional. Oh, it is pretty hard to tell when they're pulled out, though. At a glance, it looks like they're all pushed in, but th these three are all out. Check from the side. Is it that hard to tell in real life if they're out? Oh, man. Those are barely out. All right. I wish they would come out a lot further than that, like, and show the white or the red. Like underneath the, uh, underneath the hex shaped part. All right, we got, look, do we have full checklist? Cabin inspection, before start, cruise, before land, parking, shutdown, and secure. Amazing. All right, we will do the evaluation test. See if it works with evaluation mode. Aircraft documents. Which is always awesome. We'll see the camera move itself. Unavoidable as far as I know. Which plane? It just came out now. It's the Technum P2010. By Aerozox. We used one of their planes months ago. They had like um, a, a smaller, like two seater Tectum that they made. I think I said I gave it like a four out of five. Check current and on board. Um, and this is their latest one. It's a 2010, so single engine, 
with a G1000 in it. Four seats. And yeah, we're going to fly it around to LA and take a look at some other, um, some VFR add-on that I grabbed. So yeah, the, this is Technum P2010. It's $20. And then there's, we're going to look at VFR Objects Los Angeles by Dream Scenery. Check. Breakers. All pushed in. Seats belts. Seats belts. Check. Ignition. Off. I love master when evaluation switch. mode works. All right, I'm going to hit master switch on my little throttle panel here. On. Voltmeter within the limits. All right, voltmeter. Well, we see amps. Wait, do we see volts on this? I don't think so. Unless this can turn on. No, I can't. All right, check. check. Strobe. Is the Venice Beach part of the scenery you bought today? No, this was... Um, I don't know when I got the, v the Venice one. It was a while ago, but I saw Venice, and since it's in LA, I just bought it. Uh, but I never really checked out the scenery, so... Uh, right now, we're not looking at any of the new scenery. But, yeah, technically the Venice... The Venice stuff is uh, is third-party scenery. Or is uh, is payware scenery with the, the moving Ferris wheel. I didn't I didn't quite walk all the way out here past the, uh, the fishing spots. There's, like, always people up here fishing off the, uh, off the pier. I mean, I guess it includes some umbrellas and stuff down here. All these people having a great time. Lifeguard stand. All right, strobe check and off. Oh, I just need to test it out. Check and off. Navigation lights. Check and off. Taxi light. Check and off. Landing light. It's highlighting all the Check controls, nice. Emergency lights. Off. Stall warning. Stall warning test. It just says tick item. I don't know that there's actually a stall warning. Test here. Instrument lights. Day and night. Star flap indicator. Autopilot master. Trim disconnect lights and then we have fuel pump avionics and generator and magnetos okay i don't think there is actually a test stall Baggage. test oh wait was that in the middle hold on is this it no this is the, just the elt i thought it said stall test on one side all right bag is secure and locked breakers are functional yeah they look functional i haven't tested them I guess I could hit. So we have COM1, fuel pump. That's an easy one to test here. Autopilot, I guess I can just turn off the PFD. Yep. I don't know if there are failures though, so. But I guess, you know, if you want to do a self inflicted failure, you could pull one of the breakers. But I don't know that there's actually like scheduled failures or anything like that. I would, I would, have, I would guess that there's not. All right, external inspection. Remove. Yeah, the GPU is off. External inspection item A. Item A. <laughs> Check. Pito tube cover. Remove. Yeah, I did remove external that. External inspection items from C to D. All right, not sure what Check. all those are. I don't. I don't external know if there's an external like list to somewhere D. to look at, like a walk around checklist. Check. External inspection. It just item says H. H, right? Yeah. Maybe there's another maybe there's another document in Check. the cockpit you can look at. External inspection items from I to N. Alright, so this is like a poor man's walk Check. around. It's cool though. They put it in the External evaluation, it moves you all the way around the outside. Check. External inspection item S. Check. External inspection items from yeah, T don't, to B. I mean, make sure you can't click anything here, because then I look really dumb if they had a full Working walk around. Yeah, I don't think you can actually click anything. Check. Wheels chocks. Remove. 
Tied Would down. I say it's study level or kind of like black square? Neither. I'd say I'd say lower than those. Like I don't think there's any randomized failures or anything, but we do have working. Apparently, we have working circuit breakers. So yeah, I think I think that like black square, FS reborn, A to A, those planes are just kind of in a league of their own. So it's kind of hard to compare other planes to them, because those are just so good that everything else is like a two or a three by or maybe a one depending on yeah how you know by comparison it's just it's hard to compete with those like top tier ones that were developed for years you know um but i would say like uh this is probably more on par with like a like a Coronado or Coronado plane like you don't have full-on failures but i think some some Coronado planes have functional circuit breakers most of them don't so i guess you could argue this is even a little more detailed than those I mean, I just, I like that there's a visible co-pilot. I like that there's G1000, of course. I like that there's working checklists. Like, I always look for these things because I find them really, really helpful if I'm trying to learn a plane. Granted, I don't stick to one plane for long enough, really. But whenever the checklists are available and I don't have to move my camera myself and they work with evaluation mode, I love it. I think it's a little weird that evaluation mode is part of, like, an assistance option you have to turn on. Um... Because I feel like it's just a time-saving option. It's not like a cheat code, you know? Hitting autocomplete kind of feels like a cheat code in a way. Because it'll just run through everything in blazing Flight speed controls. and set up the plane for you, checklist by checklist. Um, whereas evaluation mode is really just saving you time moving the camera around. But I, I really love when they have uh, when they have these working. So I always, I always try to look for the checklist. Correct. And I don't want to bring up Parking another break. web browser or like use another Set. window to look up a checklist if I don't have Throttle to. Friction. If these are accurate enough, I'd rather use the ones in the sim. And then, you know, they're VR friendly. They're Adjust. friendly for beginners. And Power lever. the more we have in the sim itself, the Idle. better. Prop RPM lever. Max RPM. Mixture. Lean. Breakers. All pushed in. Better than most Caronado because it has a checklist. Oh yeah, true. On. Yeah. Standby instrument. No red cross. What's display. happening outside? We're just having a beach get together. I guess they customize like the sand here, like the the terrain around here for the beach for this add-on. <laughs> what is going on? It's like they did the parking lot too. Yeah, we're just chilling on Venice Beach. Just a normal little nice get together here. We're not even gonna fly airplanes today. We're just gonna just gonna chill on the ground. Check. Avionics master switch. On. And we got our fuel G5s quantity. on and our MFD Check. on. Electric fuel pump. All right, I got a switch for this. Let's see how that works. Whoops, that was pedo heat. Nice fuel pump switch works. On. Warning LOW fuel Let me pressure. check the rest of the switches real quick too. So something I also usually check is if the developer mapped the buttons, like the switches to the commands that I use, like lights on. So like I have one that's all lights on. Uh, not all lights, it's, um, is it landing lights? Yeah, this one's, I think landing lights. Yeah, and it tends to also turn the taxi light on. Um, I have a separate one that's taxi light. Yeah, okay, taxi light on works. Actually, I think I, I bound this one to taxi and landing lights on, so that's working as intended. This is just taxi light. This is just landing light. Yep, those work. Then I have one for fuel pumps, which does work on the left there. That's moving up and down. Then I have one for pedo heat. Right there is working. And I tested the lights already. And I also tested the master switch right here, which I have bound to one. So for all of the key binds that I have, these are all working. So that's another thing I usually look for. Electric fuel pump. Off. Flaps. Uh, check functioning. All right. And we're checking the indicator right here, which is kind of hard to see right now. I can't tell if it's on or not, so... <laughs> we'll just let the uh, assistance see. Check all positions and then set to take off. Okay. Check function and right. set It says they off. worked, so we'll just trust it. Elevator trim. Neutral. Directional trim. 
Center. directional trim. Is that rudder Strobe. or aileron trim? All right, strobe on. On. Navigation lights. On. Doors closed and locked. Oh, can we open the doors? Ooh, beautiful. Is this the lock? Oh, I just ticked the item. So this might be the lock. Yep, that's the lock. So when you engage the lock, you can't use the handle. And then emergency open, move forward. If I lock it, does this work? It does. Oh, okay. Okay, so if you have the lock engaged, you can still use this emergency open here. Okay, cool. And the passenger side, they have their own door. Or actually, they're usually the pilot that doesn't have the door. Uh, this is not functional, this other one. Oh, we got some sunglasses over here. Aviators, of course. All right, so both the doors work. It's nice. And locked. Check. Oh, we got back doors too? This is a four door? Oh, it's three door. That's kind of crazy. That's a lot of doors for such a small plane. When I flew in like the, um, or even an Archer, some some Cherokee uh, Piper, it has one, you know, and I think the Cirrus, like a lot of planes just have um, one door on the passenger side. There's this one door everybody climbs in through, including the pilot. This one has three doors, kind of crazy. All right, all three doors work. Are there any other goodies back here? Probably not. Okay. All right, starting engine. Throttle. What is a centimeter? One centimeter. Fuel tank selector. It's a hatchback, Open baby. LR. Yeah. Electric fuel pump. All right, fuel pump on. Water cool says everyone's on. showing bonanzas and citations Mixture. there where they're actually in. I have almost everybody's plane they're in. Uh, make sure you have traffic to set to ultra under under traffic options. Make sure you have this set to off for multiplayer right here. Show generic aircraft models for multiplayer off and then traffic variety to ultra. So it doesn't limit how many different types of aircraft models it's showing. Ho hopefully that fixes it. All right. Make sure rich until the flow peaks and then off. Let's see if this actually works until the fuel flow peaks and then, yep, there's fuel pressure going up. Fuel flow 0.8 and then, okay, so 0.8 on the fuel flow. And now we're getting a, a warning here. Rich until flow peaks, then off, off. We did that. Let me try it again. Yeah, it looks like it's peaking at 0.8 gallons per hour. Rich until flow oh, there peaks, we go. then cut off. Maybe I didn't wait long prop enough. Area. All right, prop is free, except for all the uh, free. beach goers. Ignition. They're set like mine. I'm not sure. Yeah, you said that they own them. <laughs> nice. Yeah, what is going on out here? <laughs> all right, ignition start. Start. Mixture. Engine did not start. Did I miss a step here? Is fuel on? It's on left here. Generator is off for now. Oh, there you go. You got to turn the key and hold it. Throttle. You can't just uh, use the mouse wheel and click it. All right, rich throttle adjust. Or they want it up to a thousand RPMs or something. Adjust. Okay, yeah. Oil so they want around a thousand RPMs. Check. Oil pressure's in the green. Low oil pressure. Yep, no warning. Off. Electric fuel pump. 
Where do you even find this? Oh, where we are in the world? You can come, you can go to Santa Monica. KSMO is nearby. Sierra, uh, so Kilo, Sierra, Mosk, um, <laughs> Sierra, Mike, Oscar, KSMO, Sierra, Mike, Oscar. You can go there and then just fly to the beach from there to the south. We'll be really close to there. But I'm just taking off here because I didn't, I didn't realize I had this uh, fake airport available. All right, electric fuel pump is off now. I assume off. we need to turn the generator on. Fuel pressure. That Check. fuel pressure is in the green. Alternator. Alternator just turned on. On. Voltmeter. Check. I don't see a voltmeter. Warning alternator fail. No warning. Off. These checklists are great. Navigation lights. On. Taxi light. On. Engine instruments. Check. All right. Flight instruments, PFD. No red X's. Yep, we're good. Check Even though our alignment X's. is completely off. <laughs> it's funny, it does the alignment while we're here. Just angled like this on the sand. All right, before taxiing. Flight instrumentation. These are, these are, um, these are some of the better Check automated checklists. Indications. Automated uh, checklist Altimeter. behavior I've seen, I think. I think Set. usually like there's there's spots where Pito I have a hard heat. time like getting through it without just forcing it through, and these are all working great. Check pedo heat. On check working. Okay, pedo, pedo heat off. Heat. Check off. And parking, parking brake release. Brake. Release. Oh, it's all the way down there. And we're moving. All right, let's pull the throttle back. All right, taxi checklist, parking brake release, test brakes done, altimeter setting. We hit B, two niner, niner, niner. All right, looks good. I feel like I need to turn the engine sound down. Yes, Josh, thank you so much, dude. Josh with five gifted couch captain stools. Pull your stools up. Uh, one, one or two of the stools, there are people who don't keep their membership and... Uh, some of the stools get recycled. So if there are any stains on the stool, apologize in advance. But, you know, we can't just have a whole warehouse of pre-used stools. So we recycle them. So enjoy your potentially used stool. Thanks, Josh. Let's go to general option sound. I got to turn the... Uh, I noticed my engine sounds are pretty loud. I think I used to have them down to like 40 at one point. Let's go with the good old 55. All right. I need to pass out the smokes. I do love that in the Phoenix, I can choose to turn the uh, no smoking sign off. All right, parking brake is off. Let's uh, try to move around the grass here. Turn the sand here, grass. All right, before takeoff, parking brake is set. Uh, let's see which way the wind is going right now. All right, nice crosswind. We're just going to turn around. This is, this is going to be a horrible takeoff. Parking brake set, alter, electric fuel pump on, fullest tank, check fuel pre pressure, mixture to rich, just throttle, alternate static source pull. I have no idea what that does. Right down here, pull. Alternate static port. Or is that alternate static port? Does that mean it has two static ports and it alternates between which one is used? I know nothing about... I know nothing about what that setting does. And I don't know that I've ever seen that in a checklist. Stool contest? <laughs> Decorate a stool. Submit your picture now. I assume that means that... Is it to alternate? So there's one static port. And I assume there's one over here. Does it, does it, I always thought that it meant to, to use an alternate static port, but it must mean to alternate between the static ports, maybe to like make sure it's not only taking measurements from one for static air. Okay. That's cool. I'll go ahead and pull that. I know nothing about what that does. This dev should have kept it free. What this plane? 
then what's their incentive to make another one? No way. I think everybody should make money. I think this plane is great so far. I uh, The checklists are good. The circuit breakers work. It's got a G1000, so it's instantly plus one points. All the... Uh, all of the switches work with my bindings. So far, so good. Uh, then what else do we need here? Uh, static pressure, alternate source valve off. What is this? Oh, oh, we're just testing it. Okay. Mixture lean, mixture rich. Throttle adjust, magnetos. Okay, we got our whole run up here and before takeoff. 175 RPM difference. We'll skip this stuff. Idle, set flaps for takeoff. They already are. And now that we moved out of the sun, we can see the light here. Doors are closed and locked. Parking brake release. Transponder on. I'll turn the transponder on. Why not? Inset map. Relative terrain. All right, then normal takeoff. Let's see. We got it. We got a rotation speed. Well done again on the dev for putting speeds in here. Oh, we got another membership came through. Was that a was that a delay? Oh, that was a delay for the fifth one. There we go. To Lady Gamer, um, you'll win this stole contest. That's why you want to do this stole contest. Ah. Ah, we see now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, so lift nose wheel at 60 and and then after takeoff 67. Set RPMs at 2600. Thank you to the dev for putting this. Just simple instructions in here so I don't look like I know. Well, I know absolutely nothing about the plane, but this gives me a fighting chance. So RPMs, we want to bring them back to 2600. We can see the little yellow tick mark here at the very top of the RPM gauge here. You got a stool. Yes, you did. Lackham, Pop-Tart, Sean, Dave, and Lady Gamer. Okay, landing light off. So, and then on route climb. Flaps up above 300 feet. Just says establish climb rate. Fuel pump off. Throttle full and mixture rich. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, I think we've looked through most of the checklists. So I just, I just need to pull the RPMs back once we get up. And 300 feet for the flaps. Alright, the winds are not, uh, not super nice right now, but we will make do. Oh yeah, the smoke is on, so, uh... Oh, this is, I guess, the runway right here. Look <laughs> at this smoke trail. Oh, I have... Do I have... I think I turned live weather off. Oh no, I have it on. Okay, nice. Alright, we're good. Oh, restarting didn't help. That is so weird. Oh, one of you guys is in the in the 2010 as well. Whoever's right here has purchased it. All right, let's try this thing out. Uh, rotation speed on the... Oh, we have the rotation speed here. 60 and then VY is 82. All right, fuel pump is on. All right, we have a gnarly crosswind. It's going to be great. Airspeed is alive. 30 knots. Uh, we're going to go right through the volleyball net. Good thing there's no human there. 50 knots through the finish line. 60. Ooh. The wind. Lifeguard tower. Almost took it out. All right. No retracting uh, gear in this guy. Just flaps. All right, we'll wait for 300 feet until we get our flaps up. We're smoking it. <laughs> yeah, the smoke could look better. Look at that. It's like, uh, it's like flat almost. Oh, it's kind of swirling around though. I don't know if that's better than other smoke that we've seen, but hey, it's on. You can turn it off on the little notepad in a second. All right, 300 feet, flaps up. And we'll pull the RPMs that are flashing red down to 2,600. All right, 2,600 on the RPMs. And manifold pressure is... Ma we got the throttle maxed, but it's not red or yellow. It looks like it's just a 
It's like 29 inches. 29. It looks like it's almost... Almost out of the range. Alright, we're gonna... Uh, one of the other things I picked up, I mentioned earlier, is VFR Objects. From Dream Scenery. It was $8. So we're gonna fly around to LA. I got two of them. We'll also... I think we'll go to Miami after this and take off from Miami. Um, I think... Didn't they... I think they may have added an airport in the VFR Objects Miami. I'm pretty sure it said they added like a custom airport to depart from. So we'll do that on that one. Look around Miami. But we're going to fly around here in LA a little bit and try to spot some of these VFR objects. It says greater LA area and over 8,000 objects were added. So um, yeah, we're just going to fly around and look for handcrafted objects. I know there's like a bunch of industrial buildings and stuff like that. Actually, we could we turn to the left and fly towards the Getty first. I don't know that it'll have, like, big landmarks, like the Getty Museum and stuff like that. We'll just keep the smoke on, of course. I think the Getty is, like, right over here. Where's the freeway? I'm, I'm curious if they've done... I mean, if they've done big landmarks or only... Which it might be hard to tell because I got another scenery pack for LA. I don't know if it includes, uh, includes the Getty. All right, let's check our camera presets. This is glance left. All right, not quite a 90 degree glance, but it's not bad. I kind of want like this view when I glance left, but yeah, this one's like a 45 degree view. Here's glance right. And then this is the default position. We need to go a little more to the north. So the freeway cuts between the mountains up here. Oh, there's a Getty right there. Um, all right, and then this is our seated forward position. It's just very slightly forward. I have a pretty high field of view set, though, or zoom level. And then this is down. All right, we'll check the camera presets in a second. Yeah, here's the Getty. I don't know. You know, maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have installed both of them. I don't. I don't know if this is part of the Modern Cities pack or if it's part of the VFR Objects pack, but clearly. We have, we have the museum here. Oh, we're over speeding. Yes. I mean, if this is part of the VFR objects pack, that would be pretty insane. I would have to go uninstall it to figure it out. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone and look at both the uh, Modern Cities Volume 1 and the VFR thing at the same time. Chemtrails spotted over the beaches of LA. Wasn't there legislation in, where it was somewhere in the US, some proposed legislation to ban chemtrails or something like that? I mean, that's gotta be a joke, right? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> well, no more airplanes, sorry. All right, we're just gonna keep our eye out for bespoke buildings and objects. Um, there are definitely a lot of industrial buildings. I did see some of them before I started the stream. Oh no, the freeze. Uh, part of the world update? Oh, that could be too, yeah, the Getty. That would make sense. Yeah, this might be part of the world update as well. Yeah, I think we should probably assume that uh, anything that is like a huge point of interest building is probably not part of the VFR one. I think here, is this Century City? These might be part of the LA one. This might be part of the um, Modern Cities Volume 1. But I know when we get towards Long Beach, I did see a ton of industrial buildings. They had like cranes and stuff at the port of Long Beach. Oh, the chemtrail ban was Tennessee. <laughs> Boeing's working towards no chemtrails. Flat earthers really hate the chemtrails.
wonder how much of an FPS hit the uh, the smoke is. Let's go, go ahead and turn the smoke off. I feel like the engines are still too loud, right? I think at one point I had the engines down to like 40. It's just pretty loud. I mean, I don't have any complaints about this plane so far. I mean, this this feels like a good like 172 G1000 replacement. You still got the G1000. You got working circuit breakers. It's a little faster. Maybe too fast. I was like over speeding over there. All right, VFR objects. I don't think we've seen any just yet. But there's definitely a ton of them towards Long Beach. We can go over here towards Hollywood. Yeah, I don't see any... It doesn't look like anything handcrafted near us right now. But yeah, near Long Beach there's tons of cranes and stuff. I mean, it says 8,000 objects. I don't know if that means like 8,000 crane sized objects or like there could be like a little tiny like street lamp somewhere. And I assume Hollywood's part of modern cities. They did like Century City. Here's Hollywood. Then obviously downtown over here will have some stuff. Yeah, okay, there's signs on these buildings, so yeah, these... The ones with signs, yeah, we got helicopter landing pads. Here's another helicopter pad right there. Yeah, part of that, part of the modern city says adding helicopter helipads all over the place. All right, so we can switch to the passenger seat, right seat. Get auto FPS. Yeah, I don't like, I don't know, there's something about any of those performance tools. I don't like using any third-party performance tools. And uh, yeah, even even here, like I'm I'm not upset about my frame rate with frame gen. Like, yeah, I, I think for people that have uh, that don't have newer hardware, yeah, definitely those things are a consideration for sure. But I'm on pretty modern hardware still. I don't I don't have a 4090 quite yet, but. And then downtown, I'm sure, tons of. Uh, Tons of attention paid here. We gotta have the uh, Independence Day building, US Bank building here, where the aliens uh, blasted in Independence Day. Nice. Yeah, there's just helicopter landing pads on like every building. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six right there. One down here. Yeah, they're all over the place. So I, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like these modern city packs are really nice. They give you four cities, so basically five dollars per city, and there's three of them: San Diego, L.A., Miami. What do they have? Like Austin, Dallas, Houston, San Diego. There's a lot of them. I'm not sure what's in pack two. Uh, Uary says I'll fly to L.A. in July. Nice. Ne oh, you've never been to the states? Uh, my advice for visiting LA would be, do not plan to spend time in Hollywood. Tourists generally go to Hollywood because they, you know, are familiar with it and the Walk of Fame. If you got, if you really have to see the Walk of Fame, go ahead for like a couple hours, but I would not stay in Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood is not a great place to stay. Um... Yeah, there's always people walking around in Hollywood where you can tell that they're tourists and they're like, what is this? What is this crap hole? <laughs> it's, yeah, it is not good. It's cool to go there and like see, you know, if you want to go and see like 
the Chinese theater, like the Walk of Fame and stuff like that, and have a bite to eat, sure. But I wouldn't make I would not make it a significant part of your stay in LA. You obviously need to go to the In and Out next to LAX. Oh, you're visiting Bakersfield, visiting friends for two weeks. Got it. And you're landing in LA. Okay. Well, if you're landing at LAX, uh, you got to go to the In and Out. The In and Out's close by LAX. It'll take you an hour to get out of LAX, but once you do, you got to go to the In and Out and watch planes fly like almost right overhead. It's pretty cool. It's very busy, but at least the drive-through the last time I went. the drive-through is like always busy there. All right, not sure that we're seeing too much yet. Did it uninstall this or something? All right, I'm going to fast forward. We're going to go 2x speed to get it. Get down towards Long Beach and see. I think I see some buildings kind of popping in here and there. Okay, there's some power lines. All right, we got some power lines. That's a good sign. Supposedly like bridges should be fixed. Yeah, these bridges are, they look like they're going over the water. This is the LA River, quote unquote. And I see a ton of buildings kind of scattered all throughout here. That's where earlier I was having a really easy time finding things. Oh, Yerbit says he lives in Baco. Uh, seeing LA scenery reminds me of GTA 5. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah, it was fun playing GTA 5 being from LA. They did a really good job, like, condensing all the, like, all the different neighborhoods into, into the game. It was great. I mean, GTA 6 is in Miami, right? So that'll be cool for people that are familiar with Miami to have their GTA. <laughs> Which plane should you get off the marketplace? Uh, the $90 PMDG 750 or 7757? 7, 7, 767? I forget what it is already. I'm just kidding. We, we need to know uh, what you like flying. All right, we're going to go to the port down here just to make sure that it's still installed. <laughs> I almost feel like we haven't installed it. Or maybe it's just like I'm not noticing the improvements. So I'm usually not like flying low and slow around here. It's just hard to tell when it's such a big area too, like as big as LA is to know what they've worked on. Like the water here, did they work on the, the water at the golf course here? Maybe. All right, here's Long Beach Airport. With a Zeppelin kayak 5150 in the Zeppelin. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to take off. I don't think he's with our group, but there is a there's a gamer and a Zeppelin over there. <laughs> oh yeah, it is insult. Look at all the okay, we can see all the cranes at the port here. Oh, tail draggers. I am not the one to uh recommend any tail draggers, so I'll let the uh let the chat take care of you but for what it's worth the dc3 looks so good is a deep is a dc3 f uh free forget if it's free or not zeppelin looks neat but i'll never fly yeah i most of the time when i buy something on the marketplace i know i'm going you know for these streams especially i know i'm going to use it once and probably not fly it again i do think this is a, a pretty nice alternative to the 172 though just something a little bit faster with a little more features. Like visible co-pilot, visible passengers, working circuit breakers. All right, this is all part of the VFR add-on. Over here, all of this stuff. And I do have a boat add-on, but I think it's just the biggest boats. I think some of these boats are from the VFR add-on. This is all from the add-on. All the cranes here. Yeah, all of this, I think, 
said they cleaned up the water a bit. I'd have to do like A-B comparisons to know for sure, but all of these cranes are definitely, definitely part of it. Yeah, isn't this usually, this is just usually a, a huge mess of like half broken building things and trees and like craggy terrain. Like it looks very, very bad by default. Yeah, this looks really good. It's been a while since I flew uh, past the port, but it's foggy for you. Yeah, supposedly I'm on live weather. Let me turn it off and back on again. Yeah, I see. I see like a haze way over here in the distance. The melted photogrammetry. Yeah, yeah. This is this is definitely much better than it normally is. I wonder which other areas I should fly by to look. Yeah, this is definitely one. This is going to be one of the big ones. We'll go by the other part of the port over here. Oh, it looks like... Did they fix all the rocks here, too? All of this is, I think, part of it as well. Yeah, I think this is all... This is all custom. Probably a list of highlights in the description. I, d I didn't write them down. Oh, Queen Mary has trees growing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure which of these boats are part of this. I think these closer to the... To the port itself are part of... I think they're part of the VFR add-on. The global shipping ones, I think, are just the ones way further out, usually. I should have uninstalled that one, too. There were some there were some updates to say intentions today. This stream isn't really about ATC, but say intentions. Um, say intentions like updated their UI today and released a bunch of. They had some stuff they released that they rolled back, and now they they re-released it. Yeah, dude, the port the port alone looks like extremely detailed. This is great. Yeah, this this place is always a mess by default. Oh, this song is so cheesy. Oh, it's getting better. Let's get down into the de down low into the details here. You worry? Thanks for the five gifted memberships, dude. Oh, this bridge is great too. Can I fit under this bridge? Keith, Lior, Ke uh, Kimmy. Mike and Robert, enjoy your enjoy your stools. Pull it up. You gave a mod a stool? Suck up. He's sucking up to the mods. Oh, this is a really bad idea. Oh, I have crash damage on. <gasps> oh. I shouldn't have done that. I mean, let me turn uh, let me turn crash damage off. Alright, can fly under bridge. Oops, assistance options. Crash damage off. Whoops. Thanks again, Yuri. Oh yeah, all this stuff looks so good. So much better than the default. I wonder if Microsoft would ever consider, or Asobo would ever consider, just buying out some of these. Like say, like for these modern city ones, for example, like they're improving the photogrammetry of four different cities. VFR for Miami and LA, like, I wonder if there's ever a point where Microsoft says, hey, we'll pay you X amount to integrate this into the sim completely for the better of all customers and then roll it into a world update or, you know, something like that. Because that, like, I don't know. 
And it's just such an improvement on some of these areas. Yeah, look at all these buildings over here too. All of this is, all of this is, I think all of these, all of these, all of this over here, all of this, like th all this stuff here. <laughs> this is all part of the VFR add-on, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look, there's like a, there's just like a shipping container area here. Are those train cars? I think they're just shipping containers. Yeah, all of this is part of it. I mean, this stuff looks pretty detailed too. I'm gonna drone it, drone it down there. Dude, this is so detailed, what? Oh, this is not. <laughs> But these are. What is this like? It feels like Call of. If there was different terrain on the ground, this could be a Call of Duty map right here. You know, maybe from like 2012 or something. That's pretty insane. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, thanks again, Yuri and Josh. We are hunting for VFR objects. Oh, they did all the train cars actually on the on the railroad here, on the tracks. All of this. Okay, I can kind of tell from a distance. I kind of see things like popping in. Not necessarily popping in, but like you can see the detail in the distance, which makes me think those are probably the buildings to fly towards. Alright, we'll fly this direction in warp speed mode. Four X speed mode. Just get over here. I think this is Long. This is Long Beach Airport again. Just to see if I can spot anything major. I guess I could fly along the LA River. A bunch of bridges going across the river. We use the word river very, very loosely here. Oh, you're out, Yori? Yeah, happy Easter weekend to you, too. Have a good one. Yeah, I feel like Easter is just like a, a big European holiday, I think, compared to the States. Like, I don't have time off for the weekend, <laughs> but uh, I have, I know some people that are in Europe that have, uh, they have a long four-day weekend. Very nice. Enjoy your long weekends, Europeans. Okay, we got some buildings over here. The puppy is in here pretending to be tough. Barking. The littlest bark. Okay, I think I'll have to like look at um look at a list if I'm gonna find anything else. Yeah, this is here's the uh, here's the comparison to what normal photogrammetry looks like. Oh no, maybe not that. Is that a full? Oh, that's a stadium. It's loading in. Oh, it just loaded in better than it was. Traffic is also loading. It's just uh, it's glitching a little bit since I'm going at 4x speed. Things aren't loading in. Maybe that's the trick. <laughs> Streaming machine. What's up, Adam? All right, Herbert. See you later. What breed? Chihuahua. She's a seven pound, one year old Chihuahua. All right, one more spot over here, then we'll make our way over to Miami and check out, see if I can see uh, any of the VFR stuff in Miami. Oh. 
This is not a bad strat for uncovering it, actually, by just going fast Simri and then slowing down to see if things pop in right underneath us. Is this Simri 1, really? Oh, yeah, LA has some of the best photogrammetry. Yeah, the yeah, Port of Long Beach was really bad. Yeah, I mean, this whole, this whole area is looking good, too. Yeah, we'll see how Miami looks. I'm very unfamiliar with flying around Miami, but... All right, let's make our way there so we can see more than just Los Angeles. I see enough of that. All right, Miami, and then I'll have to look on the map to see where where downtown is. I guess I can just fly along the beach. Okay, just to the east, yep, makes sense. All right, I'll fly around, yeah, over here, and then maybe, yeah, I guess north along Miami Beach. All right, let's swap out the livery. Very important. And we'll start right on the runway. Morning, live weather. Oh, yeah, teleport portal, uh, portal and flow. Can I just... Oh, I can just type in Miami, can't I? I should use that. I always feel like... Okay. I don't think about using it, and, and now that I'm thinking about it, I think that I would think it would crash. <laughs> yeah, I should use that. I paid for flow, and all I do is use it as a little wind, a little wind sock, basically. <laughs> yeah, I think I think this plane. I think the other one I said it was like a four out of five. I think I'd say the same about this one. I don't know if the other one had a EFB. I think it did. But for the first two planes by this developer, at least the first two that are in the marketplace, I mean, I think they've done an awesome job. I would say that they're like a little bit above a Carinado quality and Carinado has been making planes like absolutely forever, <laughs> it feels like. Just because it has like functioning circuit breakers and I don't know, some Carinado planes are much better than others. Is this a runway? What, what, what's going on here? The, where are we? <laughs> All right, let's get the fuel pump on. Love float. Yeah, the nameplate feature. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the nameplates alone are worth it, and it gets rid of the top menu bar, the little handlebar thing. Yeah, I haven't I haven't used the other features. I feel like I should have just got flow essentials because I I'm not gonna take advantage of the other features. I think you can like, I think it's mainly built for Twitch for the streamer features. There's like a chat, you can like turn on stream chat, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just for Twitch. And then the radios, cameras. I haven't really... Oh, fly now bypass. Isn't that an option in... Isn't that, isn't that an option in the normal settings? To skip the cinematic? Oh, no, you do have to still hit fly now, don't you? It's just uh, you're on the ground. I should probably turn that on. All right, we're gonna take off and turn to the east. There's 50 knots. It's already coming up off the ground a little, 60 knots. All 
All right, let's see how good Miami looks. So this is, again, the combination of two different add-ons. Modern Cities Volume 1, which includes Miami, and the uh, VFR Objects Miami. It says it also includes, like, Key West and Fort Lauderdale. All right, flaps up, 300 feet-ish. All right, let's turn all the way around. So we're going west. To the east, go ahead and pull back our RPMs. I can barely see them down there. 26, 25, 24, or 60, there. I don't know why I was saying 25, 24. There, 25, 90. And fuel pumps off, flaps are up. All right, Miami. Hmm, do I have another Miami add-on? I probably have the airport. See how my frames do here? Thinking about getting this city pack. It's pretty nice that you get four cities for each one. Uh, I think, was it city pack three we got was the last one I bought and it had if you're if you fly around Texas, you probably want number three. It has like three cities in Texas. Was like Austin, Houston, Dallas, something like that. And then San Diego. <laughs> but this one is LA, Miami, Boston, and Philly. I wonder if they have a YouTube uh, video like comparing before and after or just images with before and afters. That'd be nice to see. Lack, is it Lackum? Lackum? Uh, need help with Microsoft Flight Simulator is, isn't letting you do multiplayer even though you have it on. Do you see nobody at all? Uh, make sure you, make sure you're setting all players in the uh, flight conditions menu on the world map. That, yeah, that, that I think is one of the biggest things. So basically you can set it to live players or all players or off. Uh, if you set it to live players, then you'll only see multiplayer players show up if they have live weather and live time of day. But like I for one am almost always changing it to not be real time. I almost always roll the clock back. So I have live weather on, but I, I pulled the time back just because I, I just prefer flying during the day. Oh, I forgot they have enhanced nighttime too as part of the cities thing, right? Uh, the, the emergency lights you see is another add-on I got a long time ago that just puts emergency lights on the roads. Man, nighttime looks really good, actually. I should have done that in LA. I don't, I wonder if I have any more LA scenery or not. Uh, Tyler says, if you're on all players and someone else is on live, can you see each other? I don't know the answer to that. Do I have another, I wonder if I have another Miami scenery installed. And if so, I wonder which one takes, like, precedence. 
I think I should reload to double check because I don't want to. If this is, if this is some other scenery and not the new one, then be false advertising. Damn, the water looks really good too. I'm trying to think if if I even would have bought Miami scenery. I think I could, you know what I can do is without restarting, I can just go and go into my official folder above my community folder, which is everything from the marketplace and just search for Miami. The only thing that shows up when I type Miami is dream scenery, Miami VFR. Let's see if I type Florida. Yeah, I don't think I have any other scenery. I think I probably have Miami Airport installed, but yeah, I don't think I have any city, any other city stuff. This looks so good. I think I need to go back to LA and look at the nighttime. What's up, Rory? How's it going? Yeah, I hope you're doing good too, man. Doesn't Flight Sim have beta versus non-beta? Yes, it does. Right now it does. Some betas, it, it's combined, but this beta, um, in this beta, you're on a separate multiplayer server if you have it installed. Yeah, the night lighting effects look really good. All the like, um, all the lights on in the individual windows is really, really cool. All right, I went the wrong direction. I'm gonna turn around and go, go north along Miami Beach. Oh, this song needs to be retired. It is unhearted. We'll get the sun up. If I could recommend one GA aircraft, which would it be except for the Comanche? Well, my second favorite is the M500. If you want something faster than the Comanche. If you if you don't mind the G1000, get the M500. If you want analog, get the Black Square TBM850. And if you want something that's better for stole, I think the uh, I think the Kodiak's still incredible. But yeah, M500 if you want glass cockpit, and Black Square TBM850 if you don't. But I would consider if you if you're not going to be purchasing something again for a while, you might want to consider waiting for the Dukes to come out. The Black Square Dukes looks incredible. It looks like on par with the Comanche, with what they've shown with the uh, the tablet. And all the engine performance stuff, like it looks like they're they've really like gone another level up, kind of what the Comanche did with all that stuff. Looks it looks really awesome. And there's gonna be a piston and a, a turboprop variant. I'm gonna buy both of them as soon as they're out. I'll be on stream whatever day of the week it is. If it is out and I am home, I'm gonna turn the stream on. <laughs> Maybe not in the middle of the work day, but you know, as soon as I can. Cause yeah, the the Duke the Dukes, both of them, it looks awesome. I've been watching their videos. Um, if you go look up Just Flight on YouTube, you can see their videos they've been putting out about the Dukes. Oh, let's go out. Is it technically not Miami Beach until we cross the bridge? Is that water on top of the bridge? Or is that just... Ter oh, that's just... Oh, that's just like a texture difference on that part of the bridge, it looks like. And we got some ships over there too at the all docked over there. Uh Miami uh, the Miami scenery is custom, yeah. I was just I was just concerned that I had some other Miami scenery. But what we're seeing, I think all this should be part of the modern cities 
So we just looked at LA, now we're looking at Miami. This pack also has Boston and Philly. And there are three volumes, each one's 20 bucks. So right now there are 12 cities total at like $5 a piece basically. And then I also have the VFR Miami installed, which just came out today. So where the city, where the big buildings are not uh, done, the VFR one should be picking up the slack for other things like uh, like bridges and you know industrial buildings and I think area I think they said it's basically like better photogrammetry and they've done uh, water and buildings and bridges so yeah this the water here I would assume this is the VFR one all the buildings should be part of the modern city stuff all the larger buildings at least Yeah, you can see kind of the crappy tops on these buildings, just for comparison to what we were just looking at. Like, see how these are all... Oh, it's kind of streaming in. The top looks all janky, though. Yeah, most of these, like, how crummy the tops of a lot of these buildings look. You can definitely see the difference in the buildings. It's not too bad. Uh, not We Love VFR. So today, uh, there were two, two add-ons came out by Dream Scenery called VFR Objects. So it adds VFR objects, kind of like what We Love VFR does, but it's at a city level. So I got the one for Los Angeles. It says 8,000 objects. So we took a look at a bunch of those. They like redid the entire port of Long Beach. Um, we love VFR is great though, because it's like worldwide or, you know, you can get like all of like North America and Europe, I think, and they're free. So that's great. And it adds like, what, solar panels and power lines. Those, those two are from the same dev, I think, that are free. But yeah, this is payware for VFR buildings. I'm not sure if we're seeing too many of them yet. We'll see as we fly along. It's harder to tell, but in LA, we were seeing a bunch of like industrial buildings. The whole port of Long Beach was there. Like the water, all the water here looks really good, but it, yeah, it's just, it's it's hard to tell. Like, is the water good because of a world update? Is it because of this VFR objects plugin? But LA looked really good. I mean, we were flying around for a while there and yeah, the port looked great. All those industrial buildings look really cool. And we flew under some bridges there, one bridge. Like, this bridge looks... Eh. At least it's not underwater, I guess. They're not going to hand redo every single bridge, but maybe the major ones. Yeah, you can tell the photogrammetry is not... It's not on these buildings. Like, you can just see it's kind of like... Everything looks like it's, like, deteriorating almost. Uh, this one also included Key West and Fort Lauderdale, too, so maybe I should go down to the Keys. Isn't it just K-E-W? Key W? Yeah, International? Okay. Uh, can't can't just type a name, okay. So maybe I should teleport to Key West and see. Yeah, it's less obvious here. Might I might just be flying in the wrong area. I mean this building looks custom. Or it just got lucky with photogrammetry. Yeah, these look untouched, and then, like, this one and this one up here. Oh, it's kind of streaming in a little bit better. Now, like, these look like they're custom. Just how they don't look like they're uh, falling apart. Maybe bring the time back a little bit again.
Oh, if I can lock the time, kind of cool. Yeah, the, the, like, n the night effects are really nice. Maybe that's one of the telltale signs is if the buildings have the lights in them. It looks like almost all the buildings do, though, have, like, the random pattern of, like, windows. Or lights in the windows. Looks like they almost just, like, applied that to all the buildings. Black lines on the water. Oh, like right down here on the water here. I also have that Project Shorelines add-on too that cleans up all of the, like everywhere that water, like every shoreline pretty much, it improves it. It's kind of hard. There's so many plugins or so many mods I have now. They clean up the terrain and stuff. So like Rex Accu season, of course, but then yeah, that Project Coastlines one, I think it was like seven or eight bucks or um, that one affects water everywhere so everywhere the water meet water meets the land it's potentially uh, improved by that by that mod or that add-on oh they head out into the ocean oh I see some right oh I just saw one yeah right here I see them right there there's one right here over here not just you <laughs> they seem to disappear when I get closer to them though Dude, the lights look so good. Look at the lights are like color. They're like the same color as that part of the building. It's pretty cool. I feel like even just if this mod only added lights into large buildings, I think it would be worth it. But I don't. It would be so cool if there was a global mod to add these lights and buildings everywhere. Oh, Josh says he put a link to We Love VFR on the Discord. I think I have that one linked linked on my site as well. It's been a while since I've updated that since I buy so much from the marketplace. But yeah, we love VFR. It's great. And then there's one called uh, Power Lines and Solar Farms. It's also free worth installing. All right, let me hop to Key West. Let's see how this teleport works. Do I have to be on the ground? I have no idea. I'm going to use the portal at my own risk. Oh, here's Fort Lauderdale. Maybe I should go there first. So can I just click? Select the location to teleport to. Oh, it's what I'm currently looking at. Oh, it's like right in front of us. Favorite airports. Oh, is this Fort Lauderdale right here? Oh, I see. You click to teleport to it. We're just, we're coming up to it right now. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Never done the teleport before. Teleportation through the sky is the ultimate ticket to adventure. Oh, and you can adjust your position. Oh. Nice. Oh, this is really cool. All right, Flo. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, it's because, did I turn active pause on? Whoa, launch. All right, we've launched. <laughs> That's how to do it. Uh, Rory says, I heard the Dukes are dropping on April 8th. Yes. I will be flying. Let's just all fly the Dukes around together on the 8th. What weekday is that? Lighting's not too bad. Yeah, the, I mean the lighting and the lighting in the sim is great. All right, is this is this Fort Lauderdale, like downtown Fort Lauderdale? If that's a thing, I assume that's a thing. I wish I had like city names and stuff on this map, but. Yeah, I feel like it's harder to tell in Miami what's set up for the VFR stuff, the VFR objects, compared to LA. Just because we hit those big industrial areas, and uh, it was just very obvious.
Oh, there's like a crane there in the city, though. Right behind this building. Yeah, there's like a crane set up there. Yeah, these look like just normal photogrammetry, the way these buildings look. All right, let's go to Key West. Let me try the teleport again. Key West is also part of this one. Landing rate, 23 feet per minute. That's one of the best landings I've ever had. Uh, Titanic says, I don't have any add-ons installed and the lights look just as great as your do yours do. Oh, the ones in the windows then? Has it always been like that at night with the big buildings? Am I just, I just never fly at night, I guess? Pretty much, I pretty much never do. Okay, there we go. I didn't do active pause that time. I didn't know the buildings all have lights like that. That's not part of the mod. And stuck on the default splash screen. I usually wait it out, but if it's been more than like 20 minutes, you might have to restart. Okay, this stuff over here looks custom. Like these towers. These little silo buildings here, the radio tower, this whole coastline here. Yeah, this is all definitely part of the VFR thing. Yeah, look how good the coastline here looks really good. This is all custom, definitely. It's like Dune, this like whatever this is. Sweet. You could take sick jumps with your bike off it. I don't know what that's for. Uh, the water looks awesome right now. Yeah, all these little tiny towers we see. I unless you th these aren't part of a world update, right? Man, I need like I need like an X-ray mode where I can like hit a button and point at something, and it tells me if the add-on is supplying it or not. Because it's getting a little confusing. <laughs> Without a before and after, it's hard to tell. Thanks, Josh, for uh, encouraging me to use the teleport. That's pretty nice. Is location teleport on Xbox? I'm pretty sure that this plugin called Flow, I think people have said they've had a pretty bad experience with it on Xbox, even though it's available. So I'm, I don't have an Xbox myself, so I'm not, I'm not sure how good it is. But I think I heard some people in chat before saying that it wasn't good on Xbox. What is it they... I think in the description for Flow, they say it's not recommended for Xbox Series S for performance reasons. But I'm not sure if anybody in the chat has it for Xbox Series X or not and can say whether it's good. You have We Love VFR. Do you have to update them? I don't know. I don't know the last time they've updated them. Yeah, it's been a while since I've updated the We Love VFR plugins. Oh, the dog add-on? No, the dog add-on is not in the marketplace yet, but it's by Got Friends and it's free. So if you're on PC, go to the Got Friends website. It's called Man's Best Friend. We got some We got some purple boats down there. Okay, this is uh <laughs> maybe part of the add-on. Dude, these boats look so good. What? Is this part? This must be part of the VFR one, the boats. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. I can't tell what is in what add on, but I uninstalled We Love VFR nine months ago. Uh, trips, I just click on Kip to teleport. Oh, yeah. It's pretty nice. You can just teleport to your friends. Yeah, I mean, this area, it seems like some attention was paid. Paid to this area for sure. We got, like, the tower here. All right, let's, uh, should we check out Boston? I can teleport anywhere now. Might as well go to Boston. 
portal time. Teleport. Is it the south side of the airport down here? Oh, you can set the altitude in advance. I just noticed that. Uh, I didn't click it. Oh, yours is a normal boat? So maybe that's not part of it. Yeah, it's so hard to tell. All right, Boston, we need you to load in. This is Boston Airport right here. <laughs> the airport's looking a bit uh, empty right now. This is going to crash the sim, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, you have Bijan boats. Oh man, I might have that too. There's like too many. I think so far the only thing for sure I can say was part of the VFR objects was all that industrial stuff in the port of El port of Los Angeles or port port of Long Beach. Um, all that stuff. I'm pretty confident that was part of uh, part of the plugin. can't tell if it's loading it in or not. I'm just going to hit ready and hope we don't crash. Not as, uh, not as pretty here. All right. Goodbye. Live weather. Sorry. We're going to have to do this. Alright, modern cities, Boston. And I think I have I think I have scenery for the airport too. Uh this looks pretty nice right now. <laughs> Water is so calm. Yeah, this is probably part of the VFR. This is similar to what we saw. Wait, no, it's it can't be, right? No, no, this isn't the VFR at all. This is, uh, how do I have those? Because the VFR is only for Miami and LA, not for Boston at all. I wonder if that's part of modern cities then. Now I'm questioning everything. Like maybe the port of Long Beach was because of modern cities, LA. How many gigs of add-ons? I do not have auto FPS, no. I don't use any of the, uh, anything that touches performance. Only the built-in stuff. How many gigs of add-ons? Oh man, I don't even know. I have a lot of the world updates installed. Let me see how big my flight sim folder is. Okay, my packages folder is being tallied up. Seven hundred and fifty gigabytes is the size of my packages folder. <laughs> that means it's big. Yeah, it takes a while for it to count everything when you go into properties. I do have several of the world updates installed though. I don't always have those installed. So I have I have more installed right now than I usually do. Uh, Rory says I've heard the auto FPS stuff's really good, but then others say stay away from it. I don't know the details of how that one works, but like 
for example, when the, um, when there was that, like, fake, uh, frame generation mod going around that people tried out, like, personally, I, I stick, I would stick away from stuff like that where it's trying to make my hardware do things it's not normally capable of. Auto FPS, I mean, I'm guessing it's, is it changing your, like, level of detail on the fly or something like that? I'd have to look into how it works. If all it's doing is looking at your FPS and changing settings in Microsoft Flight Simulator dynamically, like while you're flying around, say your FPS gets lower and then it turns terrain level of detail down, it's an LOD mod. Because that, that sounds like a pretty responsible way to gain performance because it's using the settings that are already within the sim itself. So like for me, I would be willing to try something like that out. But if it's something where it's faking like what your hardware is capable of, like that frame generation mod, that kind of scares me and makes me think it's going to like destroy my video card. So I would, I stick away from stuff like that. Um, but I mean, yeah, if it's, if it's just using the capabilities of the Sims graphics settings, that sounds like a pretty smart way to potentially help people save on their, save on frames. I might have to get the other uh, the other city pack as well. The Verizon building. Oh, these bridges look a little a little janky. I mean, I just like that. Who made this one? It's Samsung three D. I like that they're packaged together. I like that it's not uh, a $20 add-on for one city. It's a $20 add-on for four cities. Seems, uh, it's very customer friendly. <laughs> it's not like a $20 Orbex scenery. Uh, Trip says it has an update. Oh, as of late. Oh, the auto FPS, easier to use. Helped your sim a bit. It's smoother, but you have a lot of, lot of ugly parts still. I mean, right now I'm running high-end settings. I'm not even running ultra. Um, back because I was flying the Phoenix recently, I just went in. Even though I'm on a 4080, and I'm on a 7800 X3D, um, I'm doing what I was doing back on my, um, back on my 3080. But I am running 4K now. So the stream is in 1440p, but it's I'm playing in 4K and it's downscaling it for the stream. Um, but I just have everything at high end settings and then I just turn these things up here at the top to ultra. Everything else is high end preset. So I just go to the high end preset like this. High end and then I switch all these to ultra. Just those texture texture up to the top, just all of these. And then all the ones under that I leave alone. Like I think even texture resolution, I can maybe maybe go to high, and then I go to the very bottom and I turn off motion blur because what's the point? And then I turn uh, glass cockpit refresh rate to high, so my avionics refresh faster. I don't know why it's saying that because should be the same settings I had before. Um, and then I have frame gen on right now, no DLSS, but I do have frame generation on. But um, I don't know. I think it's I think it's less about the fidelity of what you're looking at and more about um, things like Rex Accuses in the clouds, the current lighting in the sim. Like this looks pretty epic right now. But if I go in here and I switch to clear skies, it looks quite a bit more boring, especially out here. Now suddenly we're like few clouds. The shadows make everything look cooler. Um, which is why, in general, I fly with live weather as often as possible. Because, like, yeah, sometimes you are in clear skies, and it, you know, it, it is what it is. You'll there'll be those parts that don't look great, and it matters where you're flying around too, right? Like, there are no trees. And there's a little bit of trees here. Rex is helping with those, though. So, like, I'd rather take um, have the global graphics quality be lower and have more more custom things like the buildings and you know the building add-ons that cities at city add-ons 
the trees that Rex adds, the terrain colorization that Rex adds. Um, like I could probably go to medium settings and things would probably still look pretty good. You know, let, let's try medium. Global down to medium. Let me turn back towards the city. Looks like it's reloading a bunch of stuff in. I mean, does this lurk look does this look a lot worse? This is also with all the pre-caching, so it's loading stuff in. Like as we're turning the camera, it's loading stuff in. I mean, this still looks pretty good to me. It's because like, you know, the modern cities thing is doing a lot of the heavy lifting in here. And then Rex is doing the heavy lifting by changing all the trees. Wow, this stuff looks really bad. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this stuff looks horrible though. Look at the normal photogrammer tree without the help. Yeah, like you can just see this stark difference between this and this. <laughs> I mean, it's not horrible. This is still so far ahead of what it was before Flight Sim 2020. But yeah, I'm just running the high-end preset for the most part. And then turn what you can to ultra. Like, especially um, volumetric clouds, ultra. And then terrain pre-caching is nice to have on ultra. Just so you don't, um, things don't load in when you turn, turn the camera. If you like doing a lot of uh, sightseeing. I wonder if, does medium turn off photogrammetry? No, this still looks bad. I mean, it might still be streaming in, but yeah, it's still kind of streaming it in. I mean, when you zoom in close on almost anything, it's not gonna look great. <laughs> uh, what's up, Lifetime? Bought the bridge package for Boston. Really enhance all the bridges. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm just I just have the this modern cities one. And I guess the last city to look at is Philly. Go ahead and teleport to Philly. Oh yeah, I can set the altitude. Let's see how this works. Oh there we go, it sets it down here, nice. All right, 1,500 feet, AGL, AMSL. All right, Raccoon, take it easy. Good to see you, man. Uh, Andy says, oh, hey, Andy, what's up? You got a nice, handsome haircut today. Nice, dude. I'm very overdue. I, I need to get a haircut. You got five guys? Don't people rave about five guys? You went there to show your buddy your haircut. The employees loved your haircut. Hell yeah. Felt good today. Nice, man. Dude, haircut is so refreshing. It's like, uh, it's like not showering for weeks and then showering one day. That's like the feeling of a haircut. Five guys is elite. Five guys is so good. All right, where's the city of Philadelphia? Is it over here? Oops, wrong way. This direction. Uh, Adam says, does anyone have the best setting to tune for a clear cockpit in VR? I haven't loaded up VR in a long time, but uh, I might, I might bring it out of the closet because I was playing some Elite Dangerous yesterday. Probably going to play uh, tonight after the stream and after I eat. And Elite Dangerous has such... It just... It was a long time ago I tried VR and Elite Dangerous and I loved it. Haven't really played the game since then, but... 
I want to hop in my spaceship in VR and see how it feels. I felt like very peacefully floating in space in my spaceship in VR in that game. But yeah, sorry, I don't, I don't use VR often at all. I assume there's probably some good posts on the official Microsoft Flight Sim forums about VR settings, recommendations, oh, low fuel. I got a quest too, nice. Florida gets hot as hell during the summer. <laughs> Safe neighborhood, 30 bucks. Nice, I've been getting cheap haircuts too. I used to see, like there was a friend we made a long time ago and like when I first moved to LA and um, used to go see see them all the time for our haircuts and um, but recently I was like like the last year or so I was like why am I paying like expensive amount for a haircut like 70 bucks or whatever for a, a nice haircut it's like I'm just gonna go to the like closest cheapest option it's it's just fine <laughs> Oh, Robert, thanks for the five gifted memberships, man. Robert, with gifts to Feldy and Eric, mm -hmm. to Gall and Brian, and Feel the Reaper. Enjoy your stools. Pull them up. Thanks a lot, Robert. Oh, I think we need to turn left here, right? Let's go actually by Philly. I don't really know anything about the city of Philly either. Thanks again, Robert. Appreciate that, man. Pull up your stools. Is this the Technum? Uh, this is the Technum, the one that just came out today. Another one came out from Aerosox or Aerosex. Uh, they released a smaller, like, trainer Technum a couple months ago, and then they just released this one. This is the 2010, the, P2, the P2010 single engine. 180 horsepower, uh, single engine. It's pretty nice. Like I, it has fully working checklists that work with the assistance modes, the auto complete, the evaluation modes, uh, all the circuit breakers work. Well, we haven't tested all of them, but I just tested one of them. Presumably they all work, but they're all functional over here. It doesn't have like failures, not that level, but yeah, I would say like this is, this feels like a pretty good Cessna 172 replacement. It's a bit faster than the 172. And, um, you know, it's got like visible co-pilot, visible passengers if you put them in. So yeah, it's like a, it's like a little step up. All right, let's check out Philly. Philly, we have arrived. Like all the cities look so much better at nighttime and I never fly during the night. Let me pull the time back just a little bit. There we go. And at nighttime, all the emergency lights come out. Oh, Robert says, thanks for the many hours of entertainment. Yeah, of course, man. I wouldn't be here if you guys weren't probably, so appreciate you guys being here. Streaming to nobody would definitely be much more boring, so appreciate you guys being here and chatting throughout all the streams, too. Haircut every two months? Yeah, that's what I do, too. I think I'm probably at, like, month three right now. But I need to go into a wedding in, what, like, three, four weeks? Three weeks? So I'm gonna have to get a, get a cut. I'm kind of putting it off because generally, like, the first week of a haircut looks bad. So I'm waiting, so I'll get it like a week before the wedding. So it's getting a little crazy right now. Easier to land that than, oh, to land this than the A320? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm so bad at the, I'm so bad at the Airbus. If there's no auto land, then I'm having a rough landing. Wish you had hair. I keep, uh, I keep, I'm keeping an eye on the back of my head. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Once you get to a certain age, you're like, well, I got this far. I'm sure it's I'm sure I'll be losing this soon. Luckily, it hasn't happened yet, but someday, someday I'm sure it will. Look at all the emergency lights. 
The emergency lights are part of another add-on from the marketplace. There's just a ton of them down there. <laughs> it's making us feel unsafe here in Philly. I mean, Philly, uh, if I remember right, Philly crime is kind of nuts though, isn't it? Like LA is nowhere near, nowhere near as bad. <laughs> COVID turned a lot of people into amateur barbers. <laughs> oh, the ball. Yeah, I did hear. I did see the video on the Baltimore Bridge. Yeah. Oh, the moon looks so good. Yeah, that's um, that was pretty crazy. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there'll be like a full report and everything, but I think I was hearing that the uh, power, the boat had like a power failure or something. And the crew had like made calls out, like distress calls to tugboats to try to try to grab them and pull them away or push them away from the bridge or something. But obviously that didn't happen. Yeah, it's pretty scary. All right, this lighting is uh, not letting us look at the city very much. Yeah, I feel like I want to get... Uh, I didn't check the uh, cities in Texas when we got the last um, Modern Cities package. Yeah, I mean, all the cities look good. I, I just know the least about, about like, Philly and, you know, obviously I know the most about L.A. and just, like, the different areas of L.A., but, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good for a $20 pack. Four cities, 20 bucks. And if they get updates or, you know, one fewer, one fewer thing, like, if you have four cities in one, it's, like, instead of getting four packages, one for each city, probably at the same price. <laughs> W. Is that a W hotel? Alright, I think I want to check out one more. I think we should tr check out that tricycle gear plane. We'll do two planes. We actually have a bunch of planes today, so it feels bad to only look at one plane. Yeah, I think that I think that plane's good. The P2010, I don't know. I don't know if I would pick it over. I don't know. It seems like a uh, Cessna 172 alternative. I've never been, yeah, our Technum's good in re IRL planes. I don't know if I've ever been in one in real life, so I'm not sure. I've been in, I've been in Piper's. Cessnas for GA planes. Pipers, Cessnas, and Cirrus are the three I've been in. I haven't been in a Technum before. I would love to be in a Diamond at some point. I, I think uh, if I was going to fly, I would probably spring for a Diamond or a Cirrus. But um, yeah, I have, I have no idea about Technum. All right, time to retire this song as well. All right, let's go to the marketplace. I'm gonna grab this other plane that was in there. This this other one was another developer's first plane in the marketplace, it looks like. This guy right here, the Rans S6, X, well, it's hard to say. S6S. Coyote 2 by Flyboy Sim. Now I know if you're thinking Kip's horrible at tail draggers, the reason I'm picking this is because it has a tricycle variant. All right, let me get let me go rate the other plane first. Because people are very harsh in their ratings, I think I'm gonna rate it a five. I think it's like a a low fours, low to mid fours maybe. It's like on par with a good Carinado plane, which I feel like most of those are in like between four and five. So I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a here it is. I'm gonna give it a five just to help boost it. This is this this dev's second plane. I mean, there's working circuit breakers, an EFB, visible passengers, cargo, and co-pilot within the seat. All the checklists work. All of my bindings for lights and stuff worked properly. The cam the preset cameras were good. 
Actually, I only checked the glance cameras. I didn't check all the instrument preset cameras. Yeah, I mean, good for them as like, uh, it seems like they're a newer developer, so I think it's pretty impressive. All right, uh, Flyboy Sim. If I searched Flyboy Sim earlier and this is the only plane available, so. This looks like another um, first plane for a dev. All right, fourteen ninety nine for this one. This is where your membership money is going to the Thursday streams. All right, purchased five gigabytes. I am currently offline. Really? What? What is going on here? Everything is going offline. Purchase failed. Okay, this just came back on. <laughs> online services are unavailable. Am I? Am I still online? Oh yeah, you guys are still chatting. I think I'm still online. Okay, online services restored. Look, I brought down their entire network by entering my credit card information. <laughs> I am still on. Okay, cool. Do I use gift cards? No, I just, I just, I think it, I think it, is it through PayPal? I forget what I have connected. Okay, downloads have started. Nice. Purchase failed. Successfully purchased. Downloads have started in the background. All right, we're still here. All right, Flyboy Sim. See how this plane is. 1.18 gigabytes. Rans S6S Coyote 2 single engine, two seat, high wing aircraft by Rans Incorporated. I think I read it that it's American, right? We looked at this earlier. Rotax 912 ULS engine, 100 horsepower. Capable bush plane, great stall characteristics, gets you anywhere if you are not in a hurry. Three variants a trike, a bush. Oh, we're going to do the bush trike then, and a tail dragger. Nice. So there's two tricycle variants and then one tail dragger variant. 12 authentic liveries. High def textures, th accurate 3D model and animations, realistic flight model tested by real pilots. Fully interactable cockpit with checklist, sunshade, and a GoPro cam. What? Okay, that sounds cool. Realistic lighting, weight-based visibility of pilot and co-pilot in the cockpit. Nice. So we're going to have visible dogs, cats, etc co-pilots rain and icing effects included is that a thing they have to put in support for change between oh you can change between an analog and a digital cockpit okay i mean just reading this list this sounds like it's going to be good livery pink uh kit included fully functional circuit braiders foldable map and chart autopilot capability manual included custom sounds for doors storage box and switches what's up riz all right, this, I mean, this sounds good, right? This sounds good to me. All right, the Rans Coyote. Let's check it out. Rans, the S6S, and then the Bush Trike, and then the Tail Dragger. So we got all three of these variants here. 91 knot cruise speed, 16,000 ceiling or, or uh, service ceiling. Four hours of endurance, four, 430 miles. WADJ, okay. What's the wad of J? Let's do the bush trike. Actually, let's look at the liveries for each one. So here, just real quick, here's the, the default has four liveries. This is just the standard tricycle version. Just variations of red and white. The bush trike. Okay, with three, we got like an Xbox green looking. Banana runt yellow and red, red, green, yellow. And then the tail dragger version. We got two yellow. Oh, this one's awesome. I like the yellow and black. Oh, it says Chris Palmer. Uh, default green, white, and the Alaskan wolf. Oh, this is the best one right here. It's like a blue gradient, but like a subtle gradient. Looks nice. White wings. This one's the best one. Looks good. All right, let's go bush trike. And let's go banana yellow. And let's try this. W A W A D J. All 
1500 foot dirt runway. All right. Where are we? Wait, is this uh, where? Wait, um, are we in? Uh, is this New Guinea? Wait, where are we? I'm so bad. I'm I'm such an American jerk. I don't even know where we are. Oh, Indonesia. Wait. Oh, I'm dumb. I thought this was the U. I thought this was the U.S. up here. <laughs> Indonesia. Yeah. I thought we were. I thought we were like down here. I thought we were here. <laughs> What's that subreddit like American defaultism or whatever? <laughs> okay, we, there's no parking spot. We just have to start on our runway. All right, which is fine. We'll see how the auto... Oh, I kind of wanted to check the checklist. <laughs> All right, looks like we can start... We'll have to start on our runway, I guess. Oh, there's a better one? Oh, no. Well, I can teleport there. WX53. All right, I'll teleport to WX53. Does it have parking spots, though? If it has parking spots, then it'll be even better. So we can try those checklists out. I'll, I won't do the checklist all of, Whoa. <laughs> all right, this is cool. Oh, my God. This is beautiful, though. Wait, though, no, this is fine. This is totally fine. Do I have live weather on again? Hopefully. Yeah, live weather. Nice. But this looks aw- Oh my god, this is so- This is awesome. Very nice recommendation. Oh, this is gonna be fun going off the edge here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to turn off the, uh... What's it? The, uh, I gotta turn on the social distancing setting. <laughs> No offense, guys, but, uh, there we go. All right, let's get, let's try the lights. Let me just move over here. It says autopilot available. So this, let's see what kind of configuration options we have. There must be some sort of EFB in here, unless it's like per livery. The coyote. Oh, is this what? There's a camera here? Oh, this is the GoPro cam. Wait, did this just move you? Okay. The <laughs> GoPro cam. I mean, that's clever. This is funny. There's a GoPro cam. And maybe there's more than one of these. You just click it and it just moves your camera into that position. I wonder if we have one like out on a wing or something. <laughs> or is it just that one? <laughs> Uh, it's pretty clever. <laughs> the social distance setting. What kind of controller? Um, I'm using a, I'm using a Verpal uh, left-handed Verpal stick, and the Verpal control panel. That's like a mini throttle. That's all I have, and then keyboard and mouse. My rudder pedals and my Bravo throttle quadrant are still sitting next to my desk. Um, you like the similar font but different name? Oh, for the coyote? Wait, what is it supposed to be? Is it is it like the Rans instead of the Vans? Is Rans is Rans a a real manufacturer or are they or is it like a Vans? No, Rans aircraft. Uh yeah, okay, Rans is real, yeah. Rans designs Looks like it's in Kansas. Okay, so Rans is a separate one. It's an actual uh, airplane manufacturer. All right, let's check the preset cameras. Okay, control one is the GoPro camera. Uh, Riz says I have Logitech yoke with rudder pedals. I didn't have the Logitech yoke, but I did have the Logitech throttle quadrant. And which is fine. I, I used that for a while and the, uh, and the Logitech pedals as well. I didn't like the Logitech rudder pedals though. I personally would rather use like no pedals and use like a stick 
like or turn on auto rudder assistance just because they're okay they're just, the bump in them is so hard you have to like do a lot of have a lot of pressure to get it started all right these are all of our presets i'm just going through the camera presets so is there must be like some kind of efb in here or something right it said that you can change between analog and digital avionics main menu so this is this is like this super weird like variation of the garmin stuff like you can tell this is just completely stock microsoft flight sim old avionics in like a bigger they just gave it a bigger format so how do we swap the avionics is this it oh that's no that's the avionics power what's this switch Maybe lights. So we got circuit breakers over here. Maybe it's in one of the other planes or... Oh, wait, we have checklist down here. Nice. I like the, like, paper checklist. Okay. There's just a simple... Looks like just, yeah, one side to it. So you can just grab the checklist. Maybe there's... Okay, nothing in this side. Anything I'm missing? We got a... This is probably what this switch is for. I don't know. Okay, got a red, little red cabin light. The GoPro camera is funny. Uh, maybe you swap getting into a different model. Yeah, maybe, or maybe a different livery. So we just have our transponder, a comm radio, and then this like G G3X-ish type thing. These I assume are the lights. We got circuit breakers, nav lights, landing lights, panel lights. Okay. Not sure what these control. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm missing any. Oh, here we go. Oh, autopilot, box GPS, it's down here in the middle. It's these switches. All right, so box GPS. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting it to put in like a different Garmin. Oh, what? That's cool. It's a sectional chart of Phoenix. <laughs> okay. Is the headquarters for the company in Phoenix? It said Kansas. Hayes, Kansas. Okay, well, we got uh, maybe the developers in Phoenix. All right, there's a sectional. Can we take out the books? What do we got in there? Pilot logbook. <laughs> this is our GPS replacement. Okay, then we can turn on autopilot. Oh, nice. Okay, there's a little tiny autopilot unit up here. Autopilot master, flight director, nav, level, altitude hold, and approach mode. We don't even how do we have a we have a nav mode, we have approach mode, but we have no CDI, right? Yeah, there's no CDI or HSI, so we we can't see vertical guidance anywhere. Unless our unless our GPS shows it in synthetic vision, maybe. <laughs> I don't think this will. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's meant to be a bush plane. It's fine. It's cool. We got a little autopilot. No heading mode though, right? Just level. So you can hit level to level out. Wings level and uh, straight level flight. All right, then we get our checklist. All right, it's already started, so I won't go through the whole checklist. I just see that there are checklists. It said that there are. Oh. Nope. Well, I guess what it meant by having checklists is that it has these checklists. Unless this is a bug with Flight Sim and I need to restart it, but... Um, yeah, no checklists are shown here. Well, at least, we, at least we have this. All right, and then we got... Do we have a mixture... See mixture or prop 
speed anywhere. Yeah, no mixture, no problem. Just a throttle. Throttle pitch trim. Okay, we have a little takeoff indicator here. That's nice. Okay, electric pitch trim works. Choke, I guess, if we're having trouble starting the engine. All right, this is the bu the big bush wheel variant. Bush wheel trike. Looks like the Anacha flaps is already in. Uh, then we have vent. One of these is our, that's our parking brake right there. And then our flap lever down here. See how many notches of flaps we have. It's like four, four total settings. So there's full flaps two, flaps one, and retracted. And it had it set in flaps one for takeoff. All right, let's see how fast this thing takes off. Oh, we're getting some rain, nice. It looks like we got off a little before 40 knots, like 35 knots, something like that. So we don't we don't have a forward camera. If I hit up on my head, it moves me to the passenger seat. And if I hit down on my head, it moves me to the GoPro seat, which is this one. <laughs> I mean, I'll give them credit for being clever with the GoPro thing. All right, flaps are up. Oh my God, it's so pretty here. Comms? With this, I better do something brave and dramatic. That's what I do whenever I, uh, whenever I put myself in the seat of the Phoenix. Oh man, and the rain just came in. It's beautiful. All right, let's see if we can turn on our turn on our passenger here. It said you can see passengers if you put the weight in. I think you need to put in at least 100 pounds to see the passenger. Huh? Maybe more? 120? Wait a minute. No, I don't see a passenger. That works. The perfect time to test the doors. Is there, I, I almost feel like there should be settings somewhere, but I guess the, these are the settings right here. Box or GPS and then autopilot. All right, let's test the autopilot. I mean, this thing is staying in the, I haven't even been really touching my controls very much. It's uh. It's just very stable. What are the winds right now? Yeah, five, five to seven knots from the left, or from the front left, so. All right, let me hit AP. Okay, the AP turns green. And we'll just hit level. I wish it had a heading mode for like a for a bush plane. Like maybe a heading instead of approach mode. Approach mode seems kind of weird. And what is the I don't know the function of flight director. Does it work with 3D vision? It uh it's on. Yeah, we see the flight director. I can't turn it off though. Okay, I can turn it off. Turn on it independently of autopilot, but once once autopilot's on, it's always on. Okay, that makes sense. All right, level. Then we got nav mode. Can I program? Uh, this thing is so... Uh, this is like literally version one of Flight Sim 2020 came with this thing.
All right, nearest airports. Uh, let's go to Waba. Direct to activate. And then back to the map and zoom in a little and then hit nav. I mean, for a little bush plane to have a tiny autopilot with nav is pretty nice. I'm already thinking like, what do I rate this plane? And I'm just too nice. Like it's, it's functional. I don't yet see my, I don't see my co-pilot though. It said that I'd be promised a co-pilot. I do not see one. The, the GoPro camera is like, it's all right. I wish they had GoPros on different spots that I would normally be in. Like I didn't see one on the wing or anything. Unless I missed it. It would be really cool to have a GoPro camera out on the wing as a, just a really quick click spot. You could just click there like on the tail or underneath or something where you could just click there and it would just take you there would be, would be cool. Hey, I like the concept. All right, let's see how this autopilot. Um, yeah, so it locks the it locks the uh, the pitch trim wheel. So if I hit altitude, it's presumably gonna hold our altitude. But yeah, I can't use the pitch trim while it's holding it. So turn the autopilot off to climb. Uh, what are the switches down low? Oh, is that, sorry, Jewel, I just read that. I don't know if you, you probably said that before I looked at them, so. Yeah, it's to change, turn the GPS off and turn the autopilot on or off. So we can switch to the box and bring out a sectional chart of Phoenix. Wouldn't it be cool if Navigraph had some kind of thing where you could like bring in a sectional chart like this on a physical map, but it would bring it out for like the nearest sectional to where you are in the world? That'd be pretty cool if you wanted to fly like old school. And in VR, that would be probably really cool. I guess you have the, the Navigraph like app at the top, but yeah, that'd be kind of neat. That's cool. I mean, the animations are cool. I've never seen something with a box like this with a map in it, so it's definitely unique. Oh, it shakes. Oh, it actually shakes when you're overspeeding. Ludicrous speed effect. I mean, the visibility in this is pretty nice. It's, it's, uh, maybe it's no double ender, but this is pretty good visibility. The GoPro cameras, I think this would, the GoPro camera would probably be cool if you could see both the pilots. I wonder, I wonder if I have to restart it for that to work. Cause I mean, we put in, I put in the weight for the co-pilot. So we should be seeing a co-pilot cargo station front cargo station. Where would there be? Wait, what is? I still don't know what this does. And this has got to be lights, right? I'm kind of flying not not near the other other airport at all. Let me get on a straightaway and then turn it to nighttime. Maybe I'll be able to see. Make sure all our lights are on. Okay, everything's on. I guess we could test the uh, avionics circuit breakers. Yep. Transponder.
All right, night time. I do have that add-on, so I'm not sure if it is, uh... So are there two lights on the front? A taxi. I think there's just one landing light. This might not be the landing light that they have because I have that realistic light to add on. I think that had an update today. I mean, it's. I think it's pretty cool that a little bush plane like this has a, a basic autopilot. It's kind of nice. We're going to level or nav altitude. And if I flip, let's see, this was already on. We have panel lighting down here. Oh, my flashlight is on. Okay, then we have this light. Yeah, I still have no idea what these knobs do over here. Let's turn on tooltips and see. Curious. Tooltips. Oh, it's just audio. Okay, it's volume. Crew volume and audio receiver and intercom switch. Okay. All right, let's turn those back off. Uh, does the landing rate and weather add-on come with flow? Yes, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, they have a website. Let me let me bring it up so I can answer it for you. I'm 99% sure it does. Creative tools, streamer tools. All right, Flow Essentials has the wheel, which is everything in here, I guess. Uh, the game panels, the custom name plates, and aviator tools. So the only thing that Pro has, the things that Pro has are creative tools, streamer tools, power stool, pow power stool. <laughs> that's that's going to be the one year as the power stool. One year membership. Uh, power tools, fully scriptable, and then you can download and share community widgets. So let me see what the creative tools even are. I'm just over on their site. Creative tools are, oh, camera controls. As I'm flying into, flying into terrain here. Looking over on my other monitor. I know we're gonna stall potentially. We're turning around. Yeah, so it looks like you do not get the creative tools, which are cameras. Scroll over camera mode widgets to cycle through views. So this is in pro. Um, this camera section. Orbit, external. But I don't think this even does anything. Drone show? I think that's just the drone camera. Showcase views. Is it going to automatically change it? Is that just where my drone camera was? I think that's just where my drone camera was. I don't think it does any kind of automatic um, camera, like cinematic cameras. Oh, Josh says he has those in Essentials. Okay, it has that. Yeah, that's weird because it says creative tools, better controls, and smooth pans. Wait, it says drone show movie making. What is movie making? Cameras, radios. Is there like a movie making section? Cameras. Oh, that's just like... 
Head tracking, follow aircraft, showcase. Yeah, these are just presets to all the instrument camera views. Yeah, we can get to these with our quick view. These are when I hit left right on my hat. And then there's, yeah, these are these are just all camera angles you can get to already um, from the top menu. And then that, that's just where my drone camera happened to be. So it says, with flow camera control widgets, yeah, easily modify, blah, blah, blah. Uh, camera settings without opening a panel. It's not chase plane, but it gives you, it gives content creators more precise controls. I guess one time I used this one where you can click to change the speed. These, there's these little presets for camera speed and pan speed, but yeah. I guess you guys have those. Streamer tools says, give your viewers context, ATC bot. Yeah, there's a bot that gives you... Yeah, it says, provides a direct connection between Microsoft Flight Simulator and Twitch. That's kind of cool. I, if I use Twitch, that would be great, but... Yeah, it gives you access to commands like plane, nearest, weather, server, info. And it, I guess it gives you information from my sim into Twitch, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't say that it supports YouTube. And then there's a chat overlay. Again, Twitch only. Um... Power tools includes METARs, it looks like. So if I go into, um, it's if I use the search box thing. So the search bar here, I can type METAR or wiki. Yeah, so I think certain things like this are in pro only. Can you do this one, Josh? This says, this is what the power tool is, is METAR, wiki, and calculator. So you can type calculator here. Yeah, this is supposed to be pro only. I mean, I feel like these are like more streamer tools. Like, I don't know, when I, when I do calculations, when I'm flying around on stream even, I just hit the command button, my windows button to bring up the little quick search bar and I just type it in the search. I just type that in as a calculator anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seems like Essentials is gonna be good enough. I mean, Essentials is good enough for me. The, Twi the Twitch stuff is cool though. I, I think if, if you stream on Twitch or for people that stream on Twitch, those would be cool commands to have where somebody can type in plane and it'll tell you what plane I'm in. But then again, you have to educate people on that those commands exist. So that's that's like a whole other challenge. Yeah, I, I think it, like just having the map, the teleportation thing and the name plates and the weather thing, like and the landing rate, all that is worth it on its own, I think, for me. Yeah, the visualizations they do on these things like the clock and the time and the map are really cool. I feel like I'm not really putting this plane through any uh, tests or anything since I'm not like a... Am I a bush flyer? I don't know. We, we've done a lot of bush trips, I guess. Let's go test the stall out. Very realistic stall test. Uh, commands that create fa failures would be interesting. I know you can do you can do like scheduled failures from the the failures menu when you go to like where you set your livery and stuff. I've actually never used those before, but like built into Microsoft, built into the sim, you know, they have those. I guess I should check out the, uh, the tail dragger variant. It's probably going to be like, I assume it's going to be the same on the inside. We'll see. I'll do that. Check that real quick and then be done for the day.
I was tempted to turn on my Twitch stream and uh, when I was playing uh, Destiny the other day. I was just playing solo without some friends. I was like, should I turn on Twitch? I was like, hmm, maybe. It's one of those things where like I would totally stream other games if I wasn't a one game, one game streamer. <laughs> it's fun to stream like, yeah, be like a more casual stream. The profanity would live on my Twitch stream and the, uh, the more appropriate language would be on this stream. <laughs> Go WX53. Okay. WX53. Is that Bugala Bugalaga? Oh, we got a parking spot. All right, let's check out the tail dragger version. Actually, let's look at the inside of this one real quick. Actually, it's just the tires that are different on this one, right? It should just be the tires that are different. Small tires. And yeah, the inside's identical. Okay, that makes sense. And then the tail dragger. And looks the same as well. Yeah, also the same. So the interior on all three are the same. Just have a tail dragger variant. Okay. Let's start on the runway again. Uh, do I do night flying? I usually don't. Yeah, Sean. Yeah, I tried hell divers too. It's weird. I don't. I don't know why, but I. It's just okay to me. Hell divers. I know people are like absolutely in love with that game. I think it's I think it's that it's hard for me to play a, a shooter after playing like 1300 hours of Destiny. I think it's just spoiled me so much that I don't like how the guns like lag in that game. Like every time you turn, it's like this long this really slow like gun sway that it has. If that makes sense. But I also think that game, I don't know how how it's been updated. I did have a fun time playing it a few sessions and then a couple other sessions I played it. We just got destroyed on like easy modes. I know you could say like get good or whatever, but we were like playing some like mode two or three and we were just getting one shot by certain mechanics. So I'm not sure if um, I have bush scenery here. I don't know how I have scenery here. Is it like floating in the air um but yeah i don't know hell divers hell divers i understand why people love it i just there's something about it that it didn't just it didn't catch me it didn't uh it didn't make me keep wanting to play and i gave it like five or six good tries some of the weapons are overpowered yeah yeah i think i think that's what it was we were probably just going to higher levels too too hard but there were too many times where i was getting killed on like level two or three by one exploding bug would just kill me instantly and when you're playing like a low level of difficulty and getting one shot by a small like common bug that was really annoying <laughs> battles yeah it's like starship troopers yeah This thing is just like very responsive. Yeah, no, I'm not super big into the bush planes either. I feel like to be fair, like I can probably only give a rating to planes that are um, that are like not bush planes, like tricycle gear GA planes, you know, not stole planes because I don't I don't do all the bush stuff. I feel like I'm not I can't adequately like rate planes like this because I don't fly too many of them. I just kind of goof around with them, you know? <laughs> you like the bush planes in VR? Yeah, have you flown the, the double ender? I think the double ender is probably one of the most fun ones. It's just such a ridiculous plane. You're going to sit in bed and watch some... Uh, watch some? <laughs> watch some... Uh, oh, Battlestar Galactica? Is that what you mean by Battlestar? 
Quest 2, nice. Yeah, I'm I'm tempted to bring out my VR. I'll, I might bring it out this weekend playing, uh, I've been playing Elite Dangerous. And I remember just having a really good experience. I didn't play, I haven't played that game very much, like maybe 30 hours total over, over several years that I picked it up here and there. It's also another game where I just haven't kept playing it. It's kind of hard to, nowadays, to find a game that I just want to play all the time. Battlestar Galactica is so good, though. I rewatched, like, season one of that recently. I can't believe you're still in the vision jet, Josh. Josh is our resident vision jet expert. Oh, we got some more rain coming in too. I love how the rain just comes on and off right now. It's great. All right, tail dragger fail time. Here we go. What do I do? Hold the ailerons or hold the uh, hold the stick back after I land. Definitely got that braking power. <laughs> 701's floating. Yeah, you guys are just floating. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad with tail draggers too. It's a whole nother skill. <laughs> Butter. 400 feet per minute. That seems pretty high. Luckily, the passengers aren't showing up. I, I, I'm pretty sure it said that the passengers are supposed to be visible. But I have run into bugs before restarting the sim, so it's possible, like, I need to restart for it to work. And this has some turning radius to it. Oh no! Oh no! Classic. Classic tail dragger behavior. Success. Three minute flight. We did it. <laughs> GSX could not find nav data at this position. Josh is going to do a better landing in the vision jet than I did in a tail dragger. Oh, he, he's already landed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what scenery I have. Wait, are we... Wait, how do I have scenery here? Oh, it was like a it was like a PNG pack. That's right. I'm surprised how many there are then. Ten Bush airports. Okay, yeah, yeah. Has anyone flown the Vertigo? Yeah, people here like the Vertigo. The Vertigo is absolutely insane. That thing goes like 300 knots. It's crazy. It's like a super light plane with like a jet engine on it, basically like jet engine powered turboprop. It's insane. It's really, really, it's like almost silly how fast it is. I mean, it is silly how fast it is. Yeah, it's it's hilarious. But people definitely fly the, fly the Vertigo. Like, I'll see people flying that along on the streams pretty often. And the weather here is so cool right now, too. I feel like I haven't watched uh, Missionary Bush Pilot for a while. I should like catch up on his stuff. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for me. Well, we actually got some new planes to fly, so um, yeah. I mean, I think I think that that Technum one's pretty cool. It, I don't know that I'll fly it again, but I think it's like a cool alternative. It's good. I mean, there's just a bunch of Technums in now. What are there like four or five? There are at least four. There's the the 2012 Travel or the Traveler the. Uh, the 2006, and we tried those. And then this developer, Aerosox, made two different ones. It was like the P-something, this two-digit one that was like a trainer. And now there's this one, the 2010, which is also like a trainer style, but a four-seater. But yeah, it's cool.
I think the scenery was pretty cool too. I'm going to keep the modern cities ones installed. Um, I think it, it seems like a pretty good deal. You're getting four, four cities for $20 and there's three different packs so far. Um, there wasn't a new one today, but, and I guess the, the VFR objects, I don't really know if it's worth it. They're only $8. It seemed good for Los Angeles, but I'm not sure about Miami just cause I didn't know where to look, but all right, guys, I'm going to, uh, have some food, maybe play some elite dangerous. And, uh, man, I hope the Dukes comes out on the eighth. Let me look, uh. What day is the 8th? All right, April 8th is a Monday. That's not normally a stream day, but I'm pretty sure I will be here. So yeah, maybe Monday after work, I'll probably be streaming if the Dukes come out that day. That'll be fun. All right, cool. It's Saturday. So two days from now on Saturday at noon, California time, we got the, we're going to do the last leg of the Appalachians, the Appalachian Trail ending in Georgia. We'll do that on Saturday. And after that, yeah, maybe I should go to South America and get some of the some of those new meshes that came out. That could be pretty awesome too. I think that's that's the tentative plan. But yeah, Saturday we're gonna do day five, the last last leg of the uh Appalachian one. So if you guys wanna you wanna hop on the Discord, here's the link as always. I'm sure 99% of you are already in there. But yeah, if you wanna join, chat between the streams, the link is there on that page. All right, dudes, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Robert, thank you for the five gifted memberships you gave out. You're wary. I know he's gone, but once again, thanks to wary. And Josh, thanks for your five gifted as well, dude. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for the subs today. From SK and Caesar and Thomas. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. Have a good rest of your night. See ya. That's my new outro. See ya. All right. See you guys. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. See you Saturday.